<sighs> Man. You thought I wouldn't start streaming? You doubted me that I would start streaming the instant I was available? You really didn't think I would do it. I will always stream. I've promised everyone, my friends, family, and foes, that I will never stop streaming. We're live and will always be live, forever and ever, until I hit less than 2,000 subs. Then I might take a break. A mental health break. <laughs> I was watching you before you showed up. Really? Like, from my house? You have a cam installed or something? Which room are you in? Okay. Financial health break. <laughs> That's funny. I like that. Hey, everybody. Sorry I'm late. Uh, I'll explain in a second. I mean, I think you all know what it is. I stubbed my toe so bad on one of Juliet's toys, and now I wish I never had kids. If I never had my daughter, that toy wouldn't have been there. It was bad, too. It hurts. Might have broken it. It's my middle toe. Why do I still get ads? Sub again! Maybe if you gift somebody. Try gifting someone. That might actually fix it. Big news. Huge. I actually do have news tonight. <laughs> Unironically, I do have news. Uh, not a joke. For realsies. Thank you, Tan. Tanner. Thank you. More news. I've always got news, bro. I got news for y'all all the time, bro. I'm an e-journalist. <sighs> Sorry, so I literally just sat down. Oh, thank you, Ecompton. <laughs> Fighting back the dirge. Is that the word? Dirge? The dirge of sub 2k subs. No, that's not it. A dirge is a sad song. Well. Thank you, Waltel. Thank you, Playtonto. Thank you, Spoogle. Thank you guys very much for the subs. Where are the summit videos? Mmm, it's interesting you ask that. <laughs> you might find out soon. Maybe that's the big news. Thank you, Ghost Factory. Thank you, Jeremy. Thank you, Flatbread. Thank you, Renamig. Thank you, Kua K. I, uh, you'll see. Thanks for six months of last. Really helps on slow work days. Thank you. Thank you for watching and thank you guys for showing up. I'm going to keep it $100 with you guys. I am beat tonight. Um, I had a very long day. So I'm thinking we use this opportunity. To, to learn and grow and become closer to one another. Uh, it's been a long time since I've just had a relaxed, chill, talking stream. Kind of want to do that. Kind of want to play some Yoshi Story. I might play Mario Kart. Honestly. I, I Dude, I've been watching Mario Kart streams. And, like, I, the new levels are actually, like, cool. You know? So, I've never played Mario Kart 9... Eight? It's eight. Eight deluxe. I bought it, and then I played it like twice. I was like, this is kind of fun. But No Def Jam? Uh, I'm not really feeling a Def Jam kind of night. I think we're going to play some games. Thank you, controller. I kind of wanted to do grab bag, but I also don't want to sift through a bunch of bullshit. You know what I mean? That's always the issue with grab bag is like, you, it's it's a risk, you know? Hold on. Let me, I think you guys got to close down. Should be better? Ah, much better. The problem with Mario Kart is that I'm not good at it, so I don't know if it'd be fun to watch, because I might just crash into shit. Sorry, I'm checking on something. Okay. 
the predictions for cart would be insane. <laughs> you think so? I think they'd be pretty easy to tell. Will Coney win? No. <laughs> Will Coney get top? Oh, wait, you could do like top four or top six or whatever. Yeah. I could see that. Crashing into shit is content. Depends on what kind of content you're looking for. If you want to see suffering, I guess so. All right, hi, everybody. Do you get money if I watch the VODs only? Yeah. I mean, you still get ads, right? And you're subbed. Yeah. <laughs> I'll get money no matter what. I always find ways. Why don't you do a tour of all the things behind you? I can't unattach the, the cam. The cam's hooked up there. Otherwise, I would. Thank you, Taizai. Have some money, bro. Thanks. I love... Yeah, how'd you know? How did you know what I love? The one gift I love more than any other. I guess you just know sometimes. Knew exactly what I wanted. Use your pointing wand? That's upstairs. <laughs> I thought there were more songs in Super Monkey Ball, bro. I feel like I keep getting the same tracks over and over. Thank you, Raidy. With two Y's. Can we at least see the tiny cabinet up close? No. <laughs> I would have to unplug it. Maybe next time. Maybe tomorrow. Joke's on you. I enjoy ads. Hey, me too. I love being marketed to at all times. Please, do, drill it into my eyeballs. Coney, what was the last game you beat? Earthbound? Perhaps. Might have been Earthbound. Thank you, Strom Bam. Oh, no, Elden Ring. What am I saying? Yeah, I'm stupid. Thank you, Dipkey, dude. No, it was Elden Ring. And I was not very happy with the ending. Did you like Earthbound, and will you play Mother 3? I liked Earthbound. I've played Mother 3 a long time ago. I liked it. It's good. Coney, how are you doing today? Sleepy. Very tired tonight. I've had a headache since I got back from Summit at different, like, levels. So I'm a little worried now. <laughs> like... It's it's not going away. And I'm like, at what point do I, you know... I gotta go to the doctor, but I'm so busy, dude. When do I get to go to the doctor when I have to set up Wheel Champ? <laughs> I had to get the wheel. I had to write everything down, come up with ideas, make the website, make the form, you know? Seek medical attention. I know. I know I need to go. Did you fly in Fatality's plane on, plane on the way home? <laughs> no, I'd be dead if he flew me home. You remember how he, he was like a stunt pilot. He would go upside down. I showed Mallory that video and she liked it, which was nice. Stream your visit to the doctor. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's terminal. There's your thumbnail. You have six months. Thank you, eloquent Dom. Thank you, thank you. Will Coney cry after the shot? <laughs> no, I'm a big, brave boy. But I do take a lollipop every time. If I ever go to the dentist or the, the doctor, I always get a lollipop. Or a haircut, which I need. That reminds me. Thank you for reminding me I need a haircut. Six months more of streaming? <laughs> I gotta go all out. If I found out... Uh, well, no, I have a family. If I was single and I found out that I was going to die in six months, I would take out the fattest loan and put on the craziest shape. What are they going to do? Go after me? I'm dead. I'd go crazy. I'd, I'd buy out the World's Fair. What are they going to do about it? That would be so sick. What if I died? Ban him. Toxic ass. So I had an idea for a stream. I'm so bad I don't get more unbanned forms. I wanted to do Ben bans. Where talking Ben decides if you should be unbanned or not. Sadly, I don't get enough of those because I don't ban anybody. I don't ban anybody because, like, I don't mind people, you know. Uh, I don't mind shit talk. And it doesn't even happen that much. Chat be weirder. I mean, like, I I don't know. 
Usually what happens is, like, I, I feel like people ban too readily. If people come in here and say something weird, I'll, like, let it fly for a little bit. And if somebody's, like, I'll only ban people if they're actively trying to stir up shit. If they call me ugly or something, or, like, you know, are an asshole, like, twice, I'm like, I don't care, you know? Just chat. You don't ban at all compared to others. Well, I just... I was born in a different era, bro. I, 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 I would rather somebody be funny and mean than, I don't know what the alternative is. <laughs> What's that, nice and say nothing? I don't, that doesn't really, unfunny and nice? Well, that's not even true, though. That's the issue. I can't go the reverse. Because if somebody's unfunny and nice, that's a nice person, and I like having them around. Thanks, Kalkador. 15 clips of Kony. Dude, speaking of, watch Mojo. I watch, Mo watch Mojo on my own time. I know. Please don't laugh at me. I did this on my own volition. I watched a bit of Watch Mojo, and they have, like, the top 20 or top 10 unappreciated comedies, and Kung Pao was in the honorable mentions, but it was the thumbnail. Come on. Dude. That movie rules. Thank you, Joe. Thank you, Prototype. Kung Pao's weird, because I love Kung Pao, but I also feel embarrassed to show it to anybody. You know what I mean? They're going to see, like, the gopher chucks, or the cow, and be like, what the fuck, Zach? And I'm like, what about the baby scene at the beginning? That was pretty funny. <laughs> Alright. I got a few things for you. Um, I have a few things I want to get to. Uh, a couple things I want to discuss. Um, let's wait a little bit more. Let's keep talking. Thank you, Void of Rose. Big news, as you know. Is it Wheel Champ today? No, but let's talk about that. We've got 80, uh, we've got 80 responses so far. In case you guys didn't see on the last stream, we have a new segment. I like to call it Wheel Champ. One second. Can I hide this? One second. Okay. One second. All right. We have a new stream segment. Oh, you got Ned? I'll tell you in a second. You guys know, pot friends, pot friends, let them know. Pot friends, tell them, tell them, let them know right now. Where are my pot friends in the chat? Tell them, tell them. I gotta make a, I gotta make a thing for that. I gotta make a command for that every time. I love pot friends, dude. I love it. If you got any primes, you know, now's the time before more ads come out. God, it's good to be online, man. I was so tired today. But, but genuinely, hitting the go live button is like a boost. Feels nice. Good talking to people. Hello. Okay. All right. Let me know when the ads are done. Root check. Uh, quick exclamation point root in the chat. Uh, we we do we do have a giveaway planned sometime soon, along with a discount code. So if you want to check them out, do that. Um. Also, let me just make this quick. Surfshark probably won't be around for much longer. So if you want that deal, probably should click it now. <laughs> if you need a VPN, all right? Uh-oh, it's not no oh It's, you know. All right. Why? I'm not going to tell you that. Just know it's not happening. <laughs> you get one more shot. Hey, if I got no clicks, that's your fault. Because I'm shilling it. I'm doing a great job. It's your fault. You don't support your streamer. Cringe. Nor gave me a better deal. Wow, with that. Maybe I should hit them up. Kony is a genius for telling us ads for only a minute when actuality is 10 minutes. Is that true? 
I don't know. I don't see it. Twitch does it now. I don't control ads. I never ran ads. But now Twitch offered me a fat check to run ads automatically. And I'm like, <laughs> fuck those non-subs. Do you mean in general or just on your channel? I don't run ads ever. So Twitch had a thing where Twitch was forever wondering how to get streamers to run ads. Because it is antithetical. Is that the right word? Basically, streamers never want to run ads because you don't get a lot of money for it and uh, people leave when they see an ad. So I, in my eight years of streaming almost, never ran ads. Never, ever. Hi, All Tribe. Hi, Joe. Is Joe here? I saw you adding Joe. Hi, Joe. You guys want to play Mario Kart? Maybe we do Thursday or tonight, maybe. I like doing Mario Kart. Okay. So anyway, people, as soon as they see ads, they leave. And Twitch was like, how do we fix this? How do we solve this issue? And the answer is with money. Basically, they, they, they give me money and they control my ads now whenever they come off. So, blame them. That's how this goes now. Okay, a uh, couple of things. First off, now that the ads are over... New segment, Wheel Champ. We did this on Sunday. The idea is we have a bunch of options on the board, okay, that it might be, including four chance times that might happen. But the one that it landed on on Sunday was Funniest TikTok, which is kind of boring for the first one, but, you know, we're going to let it rock. Now, how do we get the Funniest TikToks? Well, all you have to do is go to... I'm going to post it in the chat. Wheelchamp.coney.gg, and there's a submission form. Essentially, what you guys are going to do is submit the funniest TikTok you have or have seen. Okay? And you have to submit before 3.23 or on 3.23, as long as it's before the stream, which is tomorrow. And whoever has the funniest TikTok submitted gets 50 bucks and is Wheelchamp. Boom. Done. Uh, now, you can only submit one, so don't go crazy with it. Okay? Don't You can only submit one, so don't feel like you can spam. Site isn't loading? That keeps happening. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know if it's getting crashed because a bunch of people are going at once or something. I don't feel like I'm a big guy. Not a huge streamer, but I don't know what's going on. Anyway, go there uh, and submit, and we're going to watch a bunch tomorrow. We are not going to watch all of them. Right now, we have 80 submissions. So the goal is we're just going to look through and pick stuff. And whoever wins, wins. So we're going to figure out how this goes as Wheelchamp happens. I'm thinking we play this once every two weeks, maybe. Maybe once a month. We'll see. But that's the first thing tomorrow. And then we're going to do some other stuff, too. So your site is down? My site is down? I didn't do that. That's Google. It's a Google form. I'm simply too popular. This won't replace React Wars, right? No, nothing would ever. It is a side React Wars. You feel me? It is a React Wars light, let's say. You know what I need to do, though? I need to do that more fucking, uh, fucking, uh, if I, if I make a noise, I die. I had so many ideas for that. I gotta bring that back. That was fun. TikTok more like Cringe Wars. I want to look at them. I don't want to spoil myself, but I feel like if it's a direct link from chat, I feel like people will be funny. I hope. So... We'll see how tomorrow goes. Hey, con this shit's an idea, okay? If it sucks, it sucks. I got 50 of them. I have a lot more coming. So, strap in. <laughs> One of them I need a sponsor for. I need money to make it happen. So, I'm trying to find that. Uh, yeah, honestly, dude, I'm glad to be out of the winter. I'm glad the sun's back out. Because I'm not motivated to do anything in the winter, bro. I didn't realize how fucked up I get. 
I'm all sad and shit. I'm cold. I want to sleep all day. Oh, your Genesis pick compared to everybody else's Omega Low. Oh, yeah, let's talk about that quick, really fast. All right, let's get into the stream proper. I've stalled enough. I have a bunch of things I want to talk to you guys about. First off... Where'd it go? Uh, okay. This is a good song. What the fuck? Thank you, Papa Chip Man. Thank you, Joe. Thank you, Samurai Shoot. Thank you, Jabba. Thank you, Fabby. Thank you, everybody that sub. Okay. First off, I'm going to Genesis. Ta da! I'm going to be there. Surprise! Uh,. <laughs> I use the same picture of me I use for everything, so, yeah. So I got the call. I'll be there at Genesis. This feels kind of fucked up. The fact that they have uh, the people on top, but more so the fact that TK's above me. Put Can we, like, you know? Can I go, like, a little bit higher? Right? We could make, like, a nice pyramid if I was on top. TK is taller. That actually... This does work out height-wise. If you go left or right, that's true. Vicky's very tiny. She's a small less. It actually is by height. All right, I get what they were going for. Sure. That's fine. I love this picture. You know what this owl is from? It's actually from a video game. So they're getting free marketing every time I post this goddamn picture. But I heard the game sucked. It was Owl World or something? Do you know what I'm talking about? Owl... Owl something, uh, Owl Ball? No. Owl Boy? No, it wasn't that one. Owl City? No, that's a band. Altopia? Is that it? <laughs> I actually don't, um, no. What was it? It actually, Eagle Island. That was it. Yes. That was it. Not Owl Boy. It was Eagle Island. Yes, Eagle Island the game. Wow, look at you. Look at you with the pick. Well done. Yeah, so... Oh, that's not an owl then, is it? Well, uh, it's a bird of some sort. And uh, he's getting a lot of free marketing and press. Okay. First off, the same thing we do at the beginning of every stream. What time is it, fellas? Hurdle time! I love this game so much. We gotta play some Hurdle. It only takes a second. Alright. This, I don't know if this is just super popular or what, but... It's not... Dun, 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 dun. Maria Maria? Dun, 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 dun. Dude, what the fuck? <laughs> oh my fucking god, dude. Are you serious? Was I right? No, it's not. Okay. <laughs> okay, it's not that. That's what I thought it... I thought, dun, 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 dun. That wasn't it. That's not what it is. I thought it was this song. Wait, is it this? No, because it didn't come up. It's the same shit. Is it sampled? No. I thought it was Santana. Okay, hold on. I don't know. I gotta hear the actual riff. Who's that? Was that? Is that? Who? Jermaine Dupree? Is this Charlie's Angels? She said Lu Lucy Lou and Girl Drew. That's Drew Barrymore and Lucy Lou. This is for Charlie's Angels, right? Lucy. 
Yes, you do. Okay, so it was from Charlie's Angels. Uh, Angel. They had a song. Destiny's Child made the song. All the women who's independent, throw your hands up at me. Independent women? Is that just what it's called? Oh, hell yeah. Okay. Whew! Okay. Not a great round. Not a great round. But, dude, last night, there was a song, or yesterday, on the off stream night, was a song I've never heard of. Uh, fuck, what was it called? It was a song, Wiz Kid. I think it might be a new song. Wiz Kid by Essence. Who, what is this? I've never heard this song in my life. What is he saying? It's like Sean Paul. Stop casting spells, young man. Guy came from Caria Manor. He went to the Glintstone Academy. Stop that. It's a well-known TikTok song. Well, not well-known enough. Stop that, young man. Went to Rhea Lucaria Academy or whatever the fuck that place is called. <laughs> okay. Coney is old. Shut up. I just don't know new songs. I don't listen to the radio, dude. I just don't. All right. Next thing I want to talk about. Hold on. Next thing I would like to discuss. Ah! Oh my god! A nightmare created just for me! A godless hellscape created in my own image. The most terrifying thing I could ever have seen. Oh my god! What witless moron made this? Oh. This is awful. Okay, so basically, it's a it's a Paternoster lift. Paternoster, of course, being one of the seven kings of hell. An open-doored elevator that's on a loop, moving slowly and continually. Name inspired by a loop of rosary beads. So it's an elevator that keeps moving. Now, as you all know, my greatest fear is getting off the elevator. But as I get off the elevator, the elevator plummets. And so the elevator chops off my face, like right here. Not all the way, just like get my jaw up. So my brain is cut in half. So my body could still perceive that its face is missing in panics, but my face is on the floor, you know, 30 feet up, 30 floors up. Uh, that is the w nightmare that I live in. So this is uh, built for that. Although it's much slower. I feel like my skull would be crushed instead. But just something that I think about. Never stop thinking about that since you mentioned it. Yep, I inflicted my curse upon you. I'm happy to do it. I know that that happened in Final Destination, right? Something like that. The lady's, like, ponytail got caught or something. I don't know. But my situation is way scarier. I have a Y sub badge. I've heard this story 90 times, and now it's 91. Coney, look at the ceiling of it. Oh, I'm safe. Thanks, Will. That was better than years of therapy. Look at it. It's like, it's like, it's like, okay, it's rounded. I'm safe. We're good. This looks nightmarish. I don't know what it is. I think it's because it's like, these look like doors to me, you know? The back looks like a, like a haunted mansion door or something. Whatever, I'd be safe. Very scary. Thank God for that slant. Whew. So wait, does it... Do the elevators, like... How do they come back around? Do they go, like, underground and go back... Uh, what's the... Oh, God. What is this? You're already dead. <laughs> Well, when you come back up, you're a different person. They dispose of your body and give you a double. Here's a warning sign about the risks of taking objects into the Paternoster. Oh my god.
Now I'm double scared. This is worse than my scenario. You... Dude, something as innocuous as a trash can will crush your chest. Explode your heart. Jesus Christ. I... I hate this. Why did anyone invent this? It's like child labor. We didn't know any better. Hey, uh, do you guys... What's up, guys? My name's George. Want to see a car jump? Uh, I was awakened last night by a pretty loud crash. You guys want to see a car jump? Too bad. You're doing it anyway. Check this out. I've been following this saga. <laughs> it's very funny. Yeah, 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 watch out. I'm really watching. <laughs> the Tesla actually Ronnie'd. <laughs> oh my god. So, Whee! Jesus Christ, that's insane air. It's like a, it's like a dream. I've had this dream. I died in it. They have so many different angles of it. Ugh. Anyway, this stunt was performed by YouTube man Alex Choi. Comments are turned off. <laughs> I think I know why. You'll see in just a second. So anyway, they rented a Tesla, rented a Tesla, and they careened it off the uh, off this road specifically for this purpose, to, to go over there. I think they rented it so they wouldn't have to pay for it because you could pay for, like, a pro uh, policy so you don't have to pay for, you know, any damage as it comes back. But that's not where this story ends because now this guy made this video. What's up, guys? My name's Jordan Hook. And, uh... <laughs> I was awakened last night by a pretty loud crash. You might know me as the owner of the blue Subaru that the Tesla jumped into last night uh, when they did car pranks. On so th they hit this guy's car and now he's set up a GoFundMe. Please, please help me fix my car. My street here in Echo Park <laughs> got woken up about 12. Uh, this poor guy. Up, but they so they didn't hurt his uh, bumper too much apparently. But his suspension is all messed up. The wheels are dead. And apparently, the way that they're fixing this, the way they're going about it, is Alex Choi, the Tesla guy, is like, I don't know who the driver was. He says he doesn't know who it was. And so insurance can't be mad at him because he wasn't driving the car. Isn't that crazy? He's like, yeah, the driver was anonymous, even though he, like, set it up and everything. I guess he's not liable. I don't know what to think. Um, how's his GoFundMe doing? Fine. He, it's doing fine. Good for him. <laughs> this poor guy. <laughs> He's very liable and throwing a tantrum on Twitter. Okay. I mean, he should be liable. I was just like, wait, is this not gonna... Is this, is this not how insurance works? Why wouldn't he be responsible? He has a whole video on it, right? He'll probably make that amount of money with the video. But I just don't know why you wouldn't pay this guy, right? If you're going to do a stunt like that, especially on an open road, just be like, hey, man, I'm sorry I hit your car. Uh, you know, I'm a YouTuber. I make a lot of money. Here's like, even if you don't have the full price of the car, just like, you know, 10K, 15K, some show of good faith. You probably shouldn't do it anyway if you don't have the full price. But, you know, at least do something. Uh, but the guy, yeah, he, uh, he, he did that, and now, wait, where's the, did I get rid of the actual video? Oh, no, it's back here. How many views? Two mil. I wonder how many subs he got from that. Comments are turned off. <laughs> he said no more. I don't want to hear from anybody. Bear is driving. Oh, my God, Bear is driving. How can that be? Isn't it crazy only you and I are going to get that joke in the whole chat? Insane. Look at the GoFundMe again. 
not funny? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> My friend showed me that show a long time ago. I didn't really like it, but I liked that part. Uh, what's what am I looking at in the GoFundMe? <laughs> Wait a minute. That's funny. Oh, that's funny. Silenced by Big YouTube. Oh my God, dude! Checkmate. You can't use the footage of him throwing his car into your car on YouTube. That's hilarious. <laughs> Wait a minute. People were scrambling out of the crash Tesla, grabbing their phones and cat, which apparently was in the car when it jumped, and getting into other Teslas. A cat? Like a live animal cat? For what? <laughs> Although this guy claims in his video... <laughs> I thought this was a word. Oh, he's claimsin', bro. He out here claimsin'. <laughs> I'm gonna take that. I like that. Claims in his video that my car didn't sustain major damage. That isn't true. I love that idea. He's just like, yeah, his car's fine. Look at the back. It's good. I'm not gonna look at it anymore. Oh, dude. Show everyone that jumping a car with a cat inside on a neighbor. I like how he throws in the cat there at the end. Gotta put that back in there just to make sure everybody knows. On a neighborhood street in the middle of the night just for likes and followers is not cool. I mean, it is kind of cool. <laughs> Let's be honest, bro. This is kind of cool. Bro, look. That's, you're going to tell me that's not cool? That's some midnight club shit. The car went woof. That's cool. Guys, that's cool. That's kind of cool. <laughs> That car flew, right? I know you agree with me, deep down. Burnout three. What's the uh? What's that song? Hold on. I don't know if this was Burnout. I'm pot. I think this was Burnout. Okay, let me see if I can make it cool. Okay, hold on. Pretty sure this is Burnout. Song is. <laughs> Whatever happened to this band, Hot Action Cop? I couldn't remember their name. Oh, it was Need for Speed Hot Pursuit 2. That's the game I'm thinking of. Okay. Got it. <laughs> Alright, anyway. Uh, I think this is a very funny developing situation, and I intend to continue to follow it. I got a video for you. Uh, so the Summit board game video is going up tomorrow. Yup. If everything goes well. And for a mere 20, 50 subs, maybe I'll show you the intro. Only 12. Only 12. I'll give you a sneak peek for the intro. Look, I know a lot of you guys have primes. Thank you, Jackalope Hurt. See, there's one. I've got the whole thing right here. This was f 15 hours ago. So I hope it got fixed. I don't know. The intro can't be that good. <laughs> well, you'll never know. Thank you, Slippery Table. Come on, I know we got primes. Come on, everybody. Come on, everybody. Look within your hearts. Just go below the stream. Just check. Maybe you have one. Thank you, Low Pharmaceutical. Thank you. It can't be that good, Copium. It's a 24-minute video, which is kind of amazing, because I thought it might be longer. Thank you, Bumbus. Ask Ben if we can see it. Why do you always want to ask Ben everything, bro? Leave Ben alone. <laughs> Ben's busy. Thank you, Weeb Shiz. The number's going up. We're close. He's always reading his newspaper. Boom, boom. Thank you, Full Metal J-Rock. Watch it be the Mars clip. It's not. I have the uh, I have the whole thing in front of me. I don't know how we're going to SEO this. Oh, thank you. Hugs, not drugs for the five gifted. Okay. You've twisted my arm. You've twisted my arm. You've earned it. Okay. 
All right. Thank you. Hugs, not drugs. Not with a K, too. Okay. I'll give you a short intro, okay? Just a teaser for what's to come tomorrow, okay? A few weeks ago, I got the opportunity to go to Smash Ultimate Summit 4. In case you've never seen one, summits are these really cool events where the best gamers in the world are summoned to sunny Southern California to compete over a long week of hard competition and easy living. Not only is there a crazy tournament bracket featuring only the best players on the planet, but there's lots of side stuff too, like bop it, food fights, flight sims, lie detectors, talent shows, mini golf, squid game, ping pong, and lots and lots of mafia. Very bad mafia. I am in the theater. <laughs> Tommy went crazy on that one, bro. So Tommy edited this, and he put in a lot of clips on his own. He did a great job. But in all my time watching and attending summits, I've realized something. These competitions, as varied as they may be, they only really test one skill each. To have 16 of the most elite gamers on the planet in the same room and not have them pushed to their absolute limits, that's a monumental waste. They should absolutely do more. They gotta go further beyond. These gamers are lazy. And so I realized what I had to do. I huddled with my Twitch chat and formulated That's you. a plan. I arrived at Smash Ultimate Summit with a checked bag full of games and a dream. I would find the ultimate gamer. And there's your intro. Wait. Once I got to Summit, I... Okay, yeah, there's your intro. <laughs> this video's going up tomorrow on the YouTube. Going up tomorrow on the YouTube. Not worth? It was worth it for me. Wait, where's the 2050? Wait, what? I got scammed. Wait, what? What happened? What'd you guys do? Did someone unsub? Bro, why'd I give it up for- Okay. You took one away, dude? Come on, man. <laughs> DJ Wheat again? He left the company. Thank you, classy alien. Thank you. Thank you. Finally. It's going back up. Gifted an unsub? <laughs> Can you gift anti-subs? That's terrifying, dude. Somebody just gifting antimatter subs, just eating them all up. I feel like an anti-sub should be $10. But they get none of it? No, it would have to be more, like $20. If you're on some real hater shit... Like, you get no money. You're just paying Amazon to make a number go down once. That's some real hater shit. <laughs> what would that even... How would that even work on the back end? This is so stupid. $10, but the streamer gets negative five. <laughs> That's funny. That's a good time. Okay. Uh... So a game came out, and I'm actually interested. I'm going to watch a movie real quick. If you guys remember, uh, hmm. there was a game that is coming out on Friday, which I am not going to play, at least not right away, uh, because I'm playing Kirby instead. See, we've got Ghostwire Tokyo, which is coming out Friday, and I don't know what to think of it, dude. Uh, because all the reviews that I've seen are like 7, 7.5, like dead, middle, whatever. So I kind of want to watch a review to get a sense of it so I can see like if it's worth it or not. At least down the line, because I'm not playing this right away. But what about Kirby reviews? Oh, yeah. I Well, there are no Kirby reviews yet, but I'm definitely going to peek into those but i'm just gonna play kirby dude i'm hooked by the demo the demo got me bro i can't believe it because usually i don't fall for that but it worked tokyo shibuya district is one of the liveliest places on the planet day or night it's densely packed with people and positively thrumming with energy Ghostwire Tokyo gives These us a different window into this iconic urban hub okay, when a supernatural force leaves its streets eerily deserted. It's a nightmarish vision, but an absolutely incredible recreation of this part of the city. Dude, I might want to get this game just for the visuals. Because this is also on PC. And that actually sounds really good. 
auto-generated captions have gotten crazy good. Dude, Pink Fresh had a had a caption in one of his videos. I forget what it was. He said some word, but it came out another, and it was way worse. <laughs> like, like a slur. I forget what it was, what word he said. It was super innocuous. It was insane. Because he put up the video and he had to take it down within like, like 10 seconds. It was really bad. On the list. Is this really Shibuya? That one it deaf pink viewer. Like real gonna be thing, shocked. Albeit with more conspicuous shrines. And this dedication to the setting is paired with an equal level of zeal for embracing Japanese oh, folklore this looks cool. and tradition. The catch is that it's let down by bland mission design and one-dimensional combat, making it a lot less fun to actually play than it is to enjoy as a virtual tourist. It looks Can't really good. No time, I'm gonna vanish. Ghostwire has not one, but two protagonists. Akito is the lone corporeal survivor of the mysterious fog that turned Shibuya into a literal ghost town and was in a bad place even before the spirits hit the fan. His sister in a nearby hospital, he's desperate to discover what's become of her, but now finds himself in an uneasy alliance with KK, a surly spirit out to settle a score with the Hanya mask wearing I thought madman it, I, responsible I immediately for thought the of the attack. Dog. This Uneasy alliance, by the way, means literally fighting for control over the one body. I'll play along. I love KK. He's so Their cute. initial angry clashes. He would never do that. That's goal my guy. And growing understanding. Please help Mari. And while I didn't find either character hugely relatable, their family-focused backstories helped ground the grandiose main plot. Plus, with KK along for the ride, Akito gains a host of supernatural powers. All the better to deal with the many unsettling visitors lurking on the streets. Well, While Ghost that Fire looks pretty cool, world, dude. It doesn't start that way with fog across the map that needs to be cleared. Oh, and it's Torrigate open world. Tori Gate. Bro, this I love no clearing shit thing, off maps. As the urban environment is incredibly I love hundred percent in colors. So steadily working through new sections of the city mm. to reach and purify each gate meant that I got to see and appreciate the many, many sides of this game world. So I don't care what anybody says. The experience of going up to, like, a building and holding triangle to cleanse it or to purify it or to, like, I don't know, collect it never gets old. I love it. Thank you, Bugsy Kong. Tokyo, after all, is a city of contrast. I like that, dude. Between Especially if I get, like, an upgrade. Quiet if my health go up or something. Between the intensity of its concrete jungle and the pockets of greenery that it. provide an escape. Between tourist At least I used to be. And forgotten tenements. <laughs> I don't know if I and if I still am after playing Elden Ring. That might have changed my taste. Back alleys packed with Elden Ring bars. was very good. These aspects of the city are perfectly captured by Ghostwire's impressively multifaceted world design and incredible attention to detail, making it feel like a truly blessed Believable place, albeit one trapped within a perpetual night where regular downpours cast an even greater pall upon the disturbing sight of piles of clothes, trapped spirits, and strange This looks creatures. good. The fog must have turned them into spirits. Let's see if I don't know if it plays it. good. It's dense with collectibles too. There are spirits to be saved, then sent to safety via modified phone booths all over the city. There are Jizo statues that upgrade your elemental ammo capacity. Jizo statues? Right. Unique items that can be traded in for rewards. Wonder what this is. And the entire city also plays host to a tanuki hunt. <laughs> Quite a cunning disguise, that one. There are also Aww, sources it of tosh. Cash, consumables, skill points, and ether, the fuel for your attacks. It's a lot. Thankfully, spectral vision lets you send out a pulse which highlights anything of interest nearby. So finding collectibles never comes down to a pixel hunt. The many yokai in the city, meanwhile, whether cats to buy from or <laughs> tengu that can be used to reach the rooftops, are all marked on the map once that... discovered. Do you well, think? Part... Do you think we're done with open world shit? I almost feel like we're gonna like. If this doesn't sell well, I feel like people are just gonna be over open world stuff. You don't think so? Not until Breath of the Wild sequel. I think it's like, do you ever think normie gaming will get away from it? You know what I mean? Are normies always going to like open worlds 
more than anything else, like, all the way, no matter what. Because Elden Ring sold, like, 12 mil, bro. And I think it's because people found out it was open world. Everybody's going to try to do the Elden Ring thing now. Most people don't even finish games. I don't care about that. I care if they buy them. Most people don't fi finish any games. That has nothing to do with the quality of the game. You know what I mean? IP is king. Yeah, I guess so. Elden World open world is nothing like Normie open world. Well, okay, so Normie open world is like Horizon, I think. Or Breath of the Wild, I guess. More like Horizon. Like a third-person action thing, right? Uh... GTA, yeah, that's, I'm stupid, that's the best, I don't like GTAs, because GTA ain't got shit to do, GTA is just strictly missions, and they're not, they're all repetitive, right, am I making that up, GTA is just like, go to this spot, do this, track this guy, do this, right, it's the same thing, as opposed to Far Cry, where it's like, there are five different spots. There's a hunting thing, there's a shooting thing, there's a tracking thing, there's a tower. You know what I mean? I feel that way about Horizon and the other stuff, too. There's a level of variety. Spider-Man, also. Rockstar Games, I think. I mean, the last time I played one was five, back like 30 years ago. There are races and stuff. Oh, yeah. No, that's true. I forgot about, like, car races, bike races. You're right. That's a good point. I love Red Dead's open world. Red Dead's open world is my favorite uh, because there's shit that happens all the time. Um, in Elden Ring, there are a few instances where I ran into something and I was like, oh, that was really cool. I didn't expect that. One of them is the guy, the bat guy, and the other one is the windmill village. Uh, but I can't think of that many. Meanwhile, in Red Dead... I can think of like 10 different encounters that really made a mark on me that I thought was really cool. So, but that's probably because people are talking to me and like, you know, there's that like, I don't know, there's a narrative element rather than Elden Ring, which drops you in a place. And it's like, wow, look at all this. You have to like piece it together. And I don't like doing that because I'm dumb. Did you play Ghost of Tsushima? Yeah, I dropped out of it. I liked it, but it was, uh, I don't know. I, I'm like, I got like halfway through and I was like, oh, I'm kind of bored. So that's probably because you like cowboy stuff. True. I do enjoy cowboy stuff. Good, good call. That's accurate. Part of Ghostwire's appeal for me is how rooted it is in Japanese culture and mythology. These elements sometimes feel like a crutch. The yokai hunts, for instance, rely on the otherness of the entities. Is that the umbrella guy? Cultural insight to make What's up going on in Japan, dude? Challenge. Sure, it's an anthropomorphic umbrella, but I'm not actually doing anything interesting. Are there American yokais? What's an Amer- I think we've had this talk before. Slimer? Bigfoot? Cryptids. Like jackalopes. And the Jersey Devil, Mothman, Chupacabra, Garfield, QAnon, <laughs> Florida Man. Okay. All right, you're right. Morphic umbrella, but you're right. I'm Good call. Doing okay. Interesting. Similarly, it's the Japanese the bye -bye man. dressing that makes many of the best cyclists memorable. <laughs> the trip into a neighborhood Sento bathhouse, a mural of Mount Fuji painted on the wall, and then carried over into the combat area. Oh, that's cool. Or a park full of dead cherry trees that you bring back into radiant pink blossom. Oh, they're in full bloom. Side quests that... I don't want to play this anymore. This guy sounds like a dork. Oh, they're in full bloom. Black hooks like these, on the other hand, I don't like, like that busy guy. work. Finding toilet Bat paper chest. for a specter that's on the crapper? Paper. Paper. I mean, I guess we could chalk it up as a Prapper the Rapper reference. I need to go just as bad as you. Good what one. I had this morning, I don't even want to say to you. But this kind of task brings into stark relief the fact that I really should be focused on the man. Is there a poop yokai? Thousands of souls in some kind of epic dark ritual. And not on the most trivial of fetch quests. Honestly, enough. 
You've wiped it enough? help that there's limited ability to sell these small stories to Oh, they said her soul for the NPCs Good for them. are ethereal spirits with comically pitch-shifted voices who are minimally animated and have no discernible facial expressions. What's wrong? I can't find my mommy. It's hardly a storyteller's dream. And again, it's compounded by the rote simplicity of the tasks themselves. Uh, yeah, this does look kind of shitty. It looks like busy work. An American yokai would be a big Asperger with one leg, one eye, or multiple cuss of sesame seeds, and sharp teeth. That's a bug snacks. You described a bug snacks. Speaking of which, I gotta buy Bunger. I keep forgetting. Bunger, 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 Bunger. It's combat, however, that fuels most of the I miss bugs gameplay. next, bro. And its system of elemental what attacks a fun game. offers a pretty DLC fresh soon. take on first-person ranged combat. It just doesn't bunger, go bunger, far bunger, bunger. enough to develop it into something special. I love the hand movements and the way you Grimace is a yokai? Enemy. Wait. Now these are yokai. Absolutely. These are American yokai. The French fry kids. That's it, right there. Maybe the nuggets. A nugget? Maybe these guys? These guys are tricksters. They try to get you to eat them. And if you do, they taste like, I don't know, a stink bug? It's terrible. It doesn't actually hurt you or kill you, but they have little giggles. <laughs> pick me, pick me. I had a toy of these when I was a kid. Dude, I was so sad today. Bro, don't bat chest me. Please. Don't make fun of me, okay? I was so busy today, I didn't have any time, so I, I stopped by McDonald's to get food, okay? I get Juliet a Happy Meal. Said they had a Mario Kart toy. A Mario Kart toy? Had a Mario Kart box. The Happy Meal had a Mario Kart box. Mario's on it. Drifting his ass off. I open up the box. It's not Mario Kart. I don't even remember what it is. Might have been Frozen. I think it was a Disney thing. I didn't get any Mario Kart toy, bro. Yeah. Yeah, and it sucks because I was definitely going to steal that from my daughter. Um, hold on. Oh, dude, I could have had a toad. I could have had a toad. Come on. Or a toadette. Wait, this is 2014. Is there like a modern one? Huh. Click on each toy to see how it works. How does... It, why do you need help? They reuse shit? Oh, shit! Knuckles Baseball! Sonic Skateboard! <laughs> I love that video. It's cool. It feels great to execute. Oh, the California Raisins are definitely yokai. Good, crowd for Christmas Good call. Eve. You're right. Good call. Rudolph is kind of a yokai, right? Thank you, Matt Most, for the sub. The M&Ms, yeah, sure. Santa is not. Santa is a humanoid. Sour Patch Kids? <laughs> no. <laughs> Not all candy. Come on. And I also think the decision to have office workers and uniform school children as the foundational enemies is great thematically. Even if some of the other later foes wind up being far more visually interesting. Oh, that's kind of neat. Don't know if that's a yokai. That's like a Charlie Brown ghost. The baseline of your arsenal, but you have a number of other options, such as stealth kills, talismans that can stun and distract, a weak strike attack for close quarters, a bow for longer range, and the ability to block to minimize incoming damage or parry an enemy. 
cool. Despite all this, I spent the vast majority of Ghostwire employing two simple tactics because they were so effective I rarely needed anything else. The first was to quick purge absolutely everything. The visitors are about as basic an enemy as you'll find in a modern video game, which makes sneaking up behind them laughably simple most of the time. And with spectral vision, yeah, you can this easily sucks. stay out of sight close by and just wait for the right moment to strike. I don't think Taking I like this. enemy after enemy this way is definitely satisfying initially, helped in no small part by the fantastic purge animations and sound effects. Yeah, nah. <laughs> But it's ultimately very one-dimensional, as my approach didn't need to change significantly, even as new enemies or definition of a seven out of ten game. Yeah, I'm, it's a strong C. All but a couple of the most powerful overworld enemies can be insta kill. Who made this? And once I realized how powerful still wasn't was, it the team behind uh, Evil Within? I geared myself up for it and sunk skill points into making it even more efficient. Weird. And when I was detected, or stealth wasn't an option, well, there's always the BFG. No, not that BFG. <laughs> or the OG BFG. <laughs> I'm talking about the big fireball grenade, my other solution to every problem. Thanks to the rudimentary enemy AI, I could just back up while charging it, and all the visitors <laughs> would basically line up to be dealt with. Like stealth kills, this one tactic of creating space and then shooting your biggest gun can be applied to almost every situation, regardless of the enemy makeup, resulting oh, in the, another wait, the ghosts don't teleport? You have strategy. ghosts and they don't teleport? And for a game that likes to play tricks Even on Elden Ring ghosts teleport. It's a shame Ghostwire doesn't do more of that during its moment-to-moment -moment gameplay in the overworld. Touches like this really helped enrich the atmosphere. And I'd have loved to see more visitors and environments that had that simmering psychological. Yeah, ghosts just walk around. And as for the main story, Cody, itself, no offense, but you look like every nest main. I'm just wearing a hat. I'm literally just wearing a hat. It's 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 just a hat. I'm a white guy wearing a hat. That is the worst thing about being a white guy. If you are ever a white guy wearing a hat. You are 50 other white guys wearing a hat. Oof. I hate it so heart, much. This is a game about the growing openness between Akito and KK, and in turn, it's their insane. quests to be at peace with the lives they've lived. <laughs> Why? Of us has much choice. Literally the just wearing a hat. The importance of family is a recurring theme in both the hero's stories Being white is so and the hard. villains. And while I appreciate many aspects of it, the resolution of Akito's inner turmoil in particular missed the mark. I'm just a white guy, bro. You don't get it! Similarly, the villain's messianic zeal and theatrically grand plan means he's never more than a cartoonish big bad, so ultimately boiled down to being just another obstacle to overcome instead of a truly memorable Yeah, who's character. Mikami? What did now he make? Stand aside. I enjoyed my 20 or so hours with oh, Ghostwire that's the Tokyo, RE guy? largely because I found its world wow. so immersive. what happened? <laughs> the attention to detail in the city itself is hugely this impressive. sucks now. Whether it's looking to recreate the surroundings of the best known... Yo, is that Coney? Is that Coney? Oh my god, in every picture, huh? Is that me? Am I Shinji Mikami? Oh my god? Uh, uh, no, I'm not. Never mind. It's not me. It's not me. I can tell now. Unless this is doctored. No, it's real. Never mind. Crossing in the world or bringing life to a dank back alley. This is an environment I loved being in, and all the more so because of the many touchstones to iconic elements of Japanese culture and mythology. <laughs> if the quick prayer. That's pretty good. Environment I love That's pretty, being in. You need to pop it really quick. Thank you, ancestors. Stones to iconic elements of Japanese culture and mythology. That's funny. If the moment-to-moment -moment gameplay, in pop the prey. One-dimensional <laughs> combat, and uninteresting mission design, immediate prayer. Such a disappointment. Ghostwire Tokyo could have truly captivated me. As it stands, the merely adequate stealth and action do nothing to add to the fantastic setting. But they don't diminish its brilliance either. That's tough. For more reviews, check out our verdict on Tunic and Triangle Strategy. And for everything else, stick with IGN. Damn. No, that doesn't look good. I'm going to be honest. 7 out of 10 from IGN is bad.
IGN gives out sevens by accident, dude. That's insane. Triangle strategy? Yeah, that's out. Did they... Is that up here too? Oh, no way. <laughs> Triangle strategy starts slowly. Pressing new game leads to a series of... Un I So, I played the demo for this, and I hated it so much. It was three hours... Of cutscenes. Peeling events. You're introduced to your character, Sarah Noah Wolfford, and his extremely boring retainers and fiance. You're given a bunch of narration about the recent history of a fantasy land whose most interesting characteristic is that there if, isn't much naturally occurring salt. If I if I liked the gameplay, is this worth getting? If I if I like the game like you can skip the cutscene. Yeah, but, like, I gotta have some level of investment, right? Worst combat system I think I've ever played. Jeez. Really? There's cutscene after cutscene, introducing character after character with almost no context. It's <laughs> awkward and frustrating with very little other than the marvelous 3D pixel art to keep it motivated. It looks pretty. But despite an unappealing start, over the course of its 40 plus hours, that slowness becomes a virtue, growing into one of the most effective and entertaining examples of the tactical RPG form. Fire at will! A reward I don't like this person's voice. Roland. It's totally a personal thing. It's not their fault. I just don't like their cadence. Ah, there's more of them. I know, don't I'm worry. very rude. This isn't one of I those don't mean to bully. it gets amazing after the first two dozen terrible hour kinds of JRPGs. Almost every part of that frustrating start fades away. Some problems almost immediately. The mundanity of the setting turns into a tense, mundanity? extremely human political drama. The overwhelming number of characters provides fertile ground for intrigue as seemingly major characters can this be dispatched once the story gets make fun of pronunciation. while minor characters step up. It slowly reveals a decision system where expressing beliefs, gathering information... That's a... Bro, that is a peepo talk. These are the things you can say in conversations? Understanding character That's too much. Speaking of which, let's activate peepo talk. I realize I don't have that on here. Hold on. I, I was watching, uh, did any of you guys catch that schooled episode <laughs> with EE e. that he won? Dude, T-Pain was people talking. He won? Yeah, EE e. somehow knew what the Neolithic era was. Good for him. History buff, yeah. History buff. What's insane to me is that nobody else got it. Nobody else got that answer except him. Amazing. Lud got it? Ah, uh -uh. Lud said agricultural revolution, which they accepted. EE -E somehow knew the word Neolithic. All right, we got to get rid of an emote, bro. I'm just going to make the call. Uh, we're getting rid of... Blah, 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 blah. Too many dancing emotes, dude. God, I like all these. We don't need this many Frank emotes, right? I don't need me pointing. Why do I need me pointing? We already have other people pointing, right? Me pointing's gone. People talk is up. Become important. Combat. Lose very pog? <laughs> Give me some very pogs in the chat for that guy. <laughs> Never becomes overly complex, yet somehow always feels perfectly tuned. And the main... Oh, wait. We still have uh, the baby one? We don't even play Mario 64 anymore. Wait a minute. <laughs> I didn't know... I thought we got rid of that one. <laughs> We literally never use Todd. That's why we have to keep him. And the off chance he shows up. Come on. All right, we're, let's go. <laughs> All right. If I ever play Mario 64, I'll bring him back. Thoughts, Coney? Hold on. <laughs> this is so stupid. 
All right, I, I got two slots there, so why not? Sure. Sure, why not? <laughs> it's pretty good. Character, well, the main character just always makes Jon Snow look exciting by comparison. Yo, Sorry. burn! Such is the way of House Wolford. The grounded human story of wars over resources and ambition may not sound exciting, but in a genre that's usually filled with mad mages or ancient gods threatening to destroy their respective worlds. Ed Potchamp? Wait, is Potchamp real? Refreshing to play a game focused on human political machinations in a land where magic exists, but not everything revolves around it. Hold on, there let me find Pot Champ. There are complex three-dimensional characters who turn brutal and violent or try to find redemption. It would be easy, but not unfair to compare triangles. Bro, what the fuck is this? Huh? Why do you need this? Why do you need that, huh? Okay, I'll I'll do it, but you got to get rid of a different one. You can't have two. Why? Because I'm I'm out of slots. I got to get rid of one. Don't add that. <laughs> you can't stop me. Uh, hmm. We keep very pog. We can get rid of Maj Day, right? We don't need Maj Day. I'll give it some thought. I wish there was a way to see uh, stats. To Game of Thrones in many ways. On like I wish there was hand, a way to see how much you know. Triangle strategy suffer because they are all too. How much things get boring. used on that? The young Lord Serenoa, his betrothed Frederica, his advisor Benedict, and his best friend Prince Roland, and most other party members, are all kind, responsible, and excruciatingly painfully polite at all times. I understand. This requires careful consideration. In a genre filled with <laughs> too much talking, and bro. memorable characters in games like Fire Emblem, Final Fantasy, or Persona, it's almost shocking to have a set of main characters be so aggressively dull. And yet, here I am. Oh, well, then I wouldn't like Fetch it. Fetch the scales, Benedict. We shall decide our path together. The music's kind of nice, though. Some personality like and differences that. in character motivation come out in the scales of conviction system. Whenever House Wolford faces a major choice, the seven main party members all discuss and vote on it. You can influence them through dialogue options and by gathering information. Influencing game? The results are binding and can <laughs> go against your wishes, so the stakes are wow. high. In one campaign, I had generally focused on being I kind need to and honest, run some which reps. difficulties when I wanted to make a choice of whether to play along with a corrupt offer, while my retainers all voted to be honest and expose the corruption immediately. As time goes on, these choices take on more and more importance to both the future. Oh, yeah, of the I forgot. There's like voting. And the there's world. like a Congress element for some votes. reason. The voting and conviction yeah. systems end up being very clever ways to manifest your choices. All the little dialogue decisions you make end up combining to both subtly lead Serenoa down particular paths and unlock I mean, powerful I, side characters and flashbacks. Nah, see, the problem is if I'm going to skip all the cutscenes and shit, I'm not going to know what's happening. For them. It's kind of boring, downside, right? The conviction system is masked. Like, they're the just going to... I don't know what they're doing. I don't know what they're, what they're voting on whether I was supposed or what they're to up what to. Was happening or not. Then don't skip them. I, I, I'm going to skip this whole game is what I'm going to do. No thanks. That's a fat no thanks for me, bro. Have Yoshi's story stuck in my head forever. I hate reading things longer than two sentences. Are they long sentences? How long are the sentences? Oh, I'm still playing this? Let's let you know how much I game, bro. This was like a month ago. Isn't that insane? Jeez. My ass is not gaming. What is this emote? <laughs> Oh, you forgot the other part. Guys, he forgot. You forgot. Yeah. <laughs> there are two parts to that. Now one. this is an emote. Wait, what? Hold on. Let me see. One second. 
You missed one. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> Why do I have lods and money? I don't think I need both. I think it's kind of implied, right? F zero X. Thirty dollars for F zero X. Yo, try you some F zero X. Thirty dollars for that? I bet it's not even fun, bro. But maybe. I forgot that's out. Is it good? What is that? It's a rabbit. Is it good? That's a bunny. Check it out. F0X is so good. Should I play it? Or should I play the GameCube one? I feel like the GameCube one would be better. Right? Yeah, I'd rather play the GameCube one. I'll do that some other time. I'll play the GameCube one. I prefer X to GX. I'll do it sometime. Probably not tonight. <clears throat> Ugh. I've been wanting to play the GameCube one at some point because I've never done it. I've been wanting to play the GameCube one. Why does it keep happening? My OBS keeps doing that. It's very funny when it does that. Did you guys see the Game Explain uh, folders thing? <laughs> Hold on. One sec. Thirty dollars to add yeet. Thirty dollars to add yeet. I mean, if you got it, if you want it that bad. <laughs> I might do it. Thirty-one dollars to not add yeet. Ah, the auction is on. Bro, look at this. This is from a game explain video. <laughs> oh my god you guys nintendo has just updated the switch to version 14.0 i literally ran home i'm sweating up a storm we gotta check this out because it basically adds folders that's 32 dollars for yeet that's 32 dollars for yeet i'm adding yeet. it sorry 32 bucks yeet's going up i gotta get rid of a different one you guys, Nintendo has just updated the Switch to version 14.0. I literally ran home. I'm sweating up a storm. Literally we gotta check home. this out because it basically adds folders to the Switch. Oh my god. Scroll over to the right. Go to all software. You can click L. See that groups right there? Click L. Press the L button. I'm yell. I'm screaming. I'm really excited. You can now sort your favorite software tiles however you want. <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I, I gotta see the more of this video. Is it eight minutes? Okay, it's two and a half minutes. Wait. Ahoy, folks. This isn't even the same video. Did they get two videos out of folders? No way. Oh my god, dude. That's insane. Three out of folders, did they? Switch gets folders. The pros and cons of groups. The Switch got folders. Could themes be... Oh my god. How can you squeeze it this hard? I just don't have a brain like this. I don't. Like, like a brain to just... If anything happens, you could squeeze it from five different angles to get... A video out of it. Content Kung Fu. It's content jujitsu, really. There are so many different ways to approach it. Fuck. I really gotta step up my content milking. I'm only uploading every other day. I upload Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And we didn't upload yesterday because the video we were supposed to have didn't come in. So, like, we're, we're, we're struggling, bro. This is different. Oh my god, you guys. Nintendo has just updated the Switch to version 14.0. I literally ran home. I'm sweating up a storm. We gotta literally check this out because home. it basically adds folders to the Switch. Oh my god. Scroll over to the right. 
Go to all software. You're gonna click L. See that groups right there? I click do. L, yeah. press the L button. I'm yell, I'm screaming, I'm really excited. You can now sort your favorite software tiles however you want. Using theme groups can help make tiles easier to find too. So we're gonna create a new group. This is gonna allow us to add up to 200 games per group. We can even 200 games? That's insane. Why would you ever need 200 games in any group? Search my keyword. Look at this. So I can add a whole Kirby group if I want, consisting of uh, all the Kirby games I have, which I think is probably two. And they're basically the same game. There we are. So we're going <laughs> to add that and that. Look cool. at this. So there's our uh, group. Cool. Oh, we Good group. Them, now you have a Kirby group. Oh, cool. Amazing. Next. We can add a name for it. Kirby, baby. Mm -hmm, that is what All you should right, name I realize it. this is a little bit of a different update than usual, everyone. I'm just really psyched right now. Really hyped up on this. And there is our brand new Kirby group. Look at that. Kirby, baby. So now we can click uh, plus to create a new group if you want. We can believe I can. Uh, sorry. We can create up to 100 groups, I believe. So let's just go add a whole bunch of stuff. And I think we can. It looks like we can re-add the same game. This is. Ex oh, my God. This is so much better than folders, even. Because you can put them in multiple directories like in multiple groups so there's our new group here next oh man i don't know uh shh. i <laughs> he has so much power he doesn't okay, even know what to enough. do with I don't it time to finish this. it's so Type exciting all. look at that bam i don't oh that's amazing so okay amazing. we got two groups here we can even sort the groups oh that's lovely and let's, <laughs> let's actually head back into the group we're gonna save that oh my let's god sorting these a little bit um edit group so we can sort software we can rename it there as well as you saw Oh, this is so... What a great interface. Oh, my God. Nintendo finally did it. Uh, all right. Finally. I'm, this is incredible. We've everyone. been asking so for we'll years. Let's we'll see where the groups actually end up. Um, so, I think... Okay. I think they're only... They only appear when you click L. So, okay. This is mostly great. Um, let's go ahead and launch a game from Are here. Are you let's critical? Click, uh, what do you Kart mean, 8. mostly so great? So, it's just like any other game, as you can see. It's as if you're clicking on a game from Bro. here. Let's click uh, Mario Kart 8. This dude has so many people playing on this Switch. What's happening here? Oh, my God. So it works just like any other game, as you can see. It's as if you're clicking on the game icon because you are. It's in you the are. group. Um, all right. So Mario Kart 2 is the most latest. Okay. So unfortunately, it looks like, though, there's no way to add the groups to the front page. That would be a great oh, bonus. Oh, man. I'm just going to double check real quick. Sort groups. Um, wait. Sorry. We're going to click into oh, it. Oh, I guess you're going to have to add another update. Uh, let's see. Rename. Add software. Rename. Uh, sort. Close. Okay. So, all right, this is pretty darn good, everyone. Yeah. That is super handy. So, super here you go. handy. Let's click again, go to all software at the end, go into it, click L. That's how you access a new group feature. You can make up to, again, I believe 100 groups consisting of 200. Why would you ever need one. that many in groups? Finally, someone <laughs> hired that man. <laughs> batchist, batchist, batchist. I should also mention real quick, as part of the 14.0 update. Did I mention that? This is a 14.0. Nintendo also added better Bluetooth uh, volume controls. If you want more information about that, click the link in the description below. Oh Otherwise, no, they, did they make a video on Bluetooth? Guys, we're about done here. This is huge news. Adding so adding a groups is, is it an huge amazing news? feature. Bro, my man Andre is staying on his grind. This is why he's sweating up a storm. Bro has ring fit in the Switch. And look at all the games he could have chose from. There's so many options here, but dude's burning it out. Amazing feature. Let's Thank go, you, Andre. Nintendo, so much. I don't know why I'm clicking Captain Toad. I'm just so happy. So Thank you, Nintendo. Really cool. Oh no, I've fallen into Nintendo YouTube. <laughs> Arlo, Nintendo Land, N Power. Rubber Ross is cool. <laughs> How did this happen? I'm sure Arlo is a nice guy. Come on. I'm sure he's a it's a good gimmick, right? It's a fun gimmick. Bro, he forgot to put the Bluetooth in the description, the Bluetooth video. Man, he's fucking up. A little careless on that. Tough. How many videos do they put up a day? Oh, man. Reggie said Facebook's metaverse will flop based. <laughs> Thanks, Reggie. That's my guy. Thank you, Tomize, for the Prime, by the way. Dude, why? It's folders. 
Like, I guess it's nice. Let me try it. Maybe it's written. What is Sneaky Sneak Games? Did anyone see that? <laughs> sneaky Sneak Games. Hmm. <laughs> what could those be? Hmm. You a sneak champ? How do I get that up? over? Ah, take to the shadows or really tall grass and these stealthy. G oh, no way. The first game up there. <laughs> it is a sneaky game. It's a very sneaky game. Perhaps the sneakiest. These are all pretty sneaky. Great. I would yeah that if I could. All right, let's see how fun this really is. Engage. Well, if he had fun putting some games in a folder, I bet I could have a lot of fun if I put all my games in the same folder. I have so many Switch games. That's it. That's the order. <laughs> Wait, could I get all of them except one? I can't add the last one. They actually won't let me add all games. Oh, I did. <laughs> Done. Awesome. Now, if I ever need to find my games, I just hit the button. And now I can find all of them in a group. <laughs> God, I could sort them alphabetically. Can you do that? I would have to do it manually. <laughs> Can't wait for the update, Nintendo. Can't wait for the update. I'm going to run home sweating. So excited. Amazing. Is that a dog? Banjo! I keep hearing this noise behind me. I could collect platinum points! From who? Coney, rate your Switch games real quick. Uh, hmm. 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10. Uh, 10 out of 10, because it's all Super Nintendo. Uh, ba ba ba. Haven't played enough. 9 out of 10. 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10, 8 out of 10, 10 out of 10, because it's everything. Uh, let me see. 10, 6, demo, 10, 8, 8, 7, 8, puzzle, 7, puzzle, 6, puzzle, 7, 10, Hulu, f five. I didn't like this game. Uh, puzzle, uh, seven, six on Switch because it didn't work well. Uh, eight, nine, puzzle, four. Eight, nine, or ten. Uh, Six? Six. Nine. Didn't play. This is Mal's. Uh, bought this for a trailer we did with Panda. Actually, I've never played it. I did have a stream idea. Oh my god, I abandoned this a while ago. I had an idea where the stream concept is Master of Games, and I play all 51 games, and every time I lose a game to the computer, I give $5 or $20 or something like that, and I put the computer on very hard, and I'm not allowed to look up how you play the game. <laughs> like, I'm not allowed to look... So I'm just playing Mancala, and I don't know how to play it, and I'm just like, uh... And I try to figure it out. That would have been sick. I could still do it. I mean, like, obviously, it's not gonna have any traction behind it, but I had that idea a long time ago. They tell you how to play the game, I skip it. I don't watch. You would pay 51x dollars. I, I had that idea. Master of Games. I had the same idea for Mario Party, but I might do that one day. Uh, fitness, nine, 
puzzle. Eight. Didn't like it. Old. Seven. Nine. Seven. Seven, but I'm going to give it an eight because I like next level games. Uh, seven. Eight. Eight. Uh, six. Uh, I mean, good, but I didn't really play it on Switch. Eight, maybe? Six because old. Nine. Didn't like it. Not good. Uh, I only got... I, dude, I bought this game for Tetris. I bought this game specifically for Tetris because they didn't have Tetris. And sometimes it makes me play Puyo, and I hate Puyo. I hate playing Puyo. Wonder Song was dope? No, I got bored. Four. Uh, this is Mal's. Ape Out is a seven, but it's a good seven. Didn't play. That's Mal's. Uh, nine. Six. Didn't like it. Meme. Six. Fine. Nine until it goes 16-bit. Then it's a seven. So I guess an eight overall. Uh, eight. Seven. Nine. Six. It's Mario Kart 8. Uh, seven. Seven. Done. That's everything. Wander Song 4? I stopped playing it. I got bored. Is this F-Zero? Yo! Uh-oh! Yoshi time! Did you ever try Sin and Punishment? No. I did not. Yoshis! <laughs> they're singing. Oh, they're so cute. They're so cute, dude. We can beat this whole game tonight. This game sucks? Shut up. Stupid. What do you mean this game sucks? It's so cute. Did I play this? Why am I at level four? Can I pick any level? Wait! I think you can pick any level. Surprise, rail lit. I gotta know what the surprise is. I gotta know what the surprise is, bro. Gotta know the surprise, bro. Give me the banana. Even Yoshi didn't like that one. Ping pong. <laughs> I should click maps this. Alright, chat. Hold on. I'm gonna let you pick the Yoshi. Hold on. Where's the black one? I have to find him. He's in, he's he's somewhere in the game. I don't remember where. You have to, like, s save him. Same with the white one. All right, here we go. Click map's going up. Where is it? Pick one. Click on the screen. I thought they would move more. That was the whole joke here, but they're not really moving. <laughs> The joke doesn't land if they all stand still. Oh, there we go. He moved! <laughs> he moved! Everybody said red. Dude, he sings. Wait, what was my lucky fruit? I don't remember. It was watermelon, right? Pink literally won? No, because red's on the screen. Dude, this feels gross to play. <laughs> oh, did I die? Okay. It's like slippery. If you eat today's lucky fruit, you earn a whopping eight hearts. One more thing. Do a ground pound near a shy guy while you're super happy. Am I? Oh, I'm super happy. Not happy enough, I guess. My streamer sucks balls. Stop! It's it's a hard game. I'm learning the limitations. Twelve lucky fruits and six ordinary fruits in every course. Uh, 
It's not a kid's game. Yoshi is for everyone. Uh... Gotcha! It is kind of brutal that Yoshi, like, My eats streamer, things, right? TM sucks eggs. Yoshi doesn't even eat eggs, does he? I don't think so. <laughs> that noise is killing me. So, I often talk about, like, what would happen... Have a heart. Find the special hearts to open in another course. Cool. So, like, if you're walking around just, like, a forest or just your everyday life and you happen to see... Okay, I got a visitor. And you happen to see a horse for the... You guys want to see a dog? Todd. Yahoo! Finally, someone hired that man. Batchist, batchist, batchist. That always happens when I switch scenes. You want a dog? Show dog? My streamer, TM. Why does it keep sucks happening? Eggs. I gotta figure that out. Alright. Him and I are gonna have a connection. Up. Come on, buddy. Up. Up. Good boy. Look at the good boy. Look at the good boy getting his turkey stick. Come back. Come back. I'm farming primes. Alright. One prime, and I'll feed the dog. Ooh, Todd, you okay? He slipped. One prime, and I'll give him the pepperoni. You can't do that? I'm literally doing it. One prime. It's just one. A lot of you guys probably have one. Give him the treat. I. That's up to you. It's one prime. <laughs> I have it right here. Feed him? I will. For five dollars. <laughs> this is abuse. Oh, thank you, beefiest bear. Come on. Up. Up. Dad. Come on. He doesn't trust me anymore. Here you go. Good boy. Good boy. Give me hugs. Give me hugs. Good boy. Oh, good boy, Todd, Todd. Good boy. Look at cute Todd. What a sweet boy. I love you. He's a good boy. I was going to feed him anyway. Even if you didn't give me money, I would have fed him. For sure. Definitely. Thanks, though. Okay. Is Todd a husky or a Malamute? He's a husky. Full on. That's what they told us anyway. I don't believe them. He does not seem like a husky to me. He's so small. Wake up Miss Warp and her sisters. To skip between them. Do I need checkpoints in this game? I feel like this game is mad short. How loud is he? I shouldn't. <laughs> if I play the slide whistle, he will sing. No, it's bedtime. Okay, so what I was saying before I was rudely interrupted. So... Find the vase. Look around. It's not too far. Can you find this special jar? Uh, so if you were out in the open, in the forest, in the woods somehow, and you came across a horse, you would probably, like, shit your pants, right? Because horses are very scary. No, you didn't. Okay, let's say you. <laughs> I I should have made this distinction clear. You've never seen a horse before. Let's say you've never. I I forgot to say this part. You've never seen a horse in your life. This is the first time you've ever seen a horse. <laughs> For that's my bad. That's my bad. I should have said that. Okay, you've never seen a horse before. This is the first one you've ever seen. Okay. You'd be scared, right? Now, what if? That horse was a Yoshi. Like, that would scare the hell out of you, right? What am I doing here? Why am I... Am I super happy? 
It told me to hit a shy guy when I was super happy. I couldn't find one. Special jar? I couldn't find it! I didn't know where the special jar was. Does anyone know in chat where to find the special jar? They said it's not too far. By the way, did you guys see that there's a jar emoji soon? That's gonna be bad. That's gonna be really bad. People are gonna send that with no explanation. It's live on iOS. God save us all. That's very tough. Where's the jar? Oh, you could just do that. I thought I had to hit to get the jar at a block to get rid of the things. I thought I had to get ri get the jar to, to get rid of the blocks. I thought that was the point. Special delivery. Ground pound to load up the melon boxes, then carry them to the finish. I will. Uh. What? What? Do I carry it? Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. All right. All right. All right. Oh, I've played these before. This is easy. Oh, my God. Death Stranding. Oh, this is easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is easy. It's a good thing I love melons, too. I was too dumb to figure this out as a kid. Uh, well, I was gonna be nice to you and say, you know, it's kind of hard, right? And this is a hard game. It's not, and I'm embarrassed for you. <laughs> oh my god. I guess that's not that weird, because you could just eat Shy Guys. That Dude, these are placed wickedly. Like, those things are placed specifically to hit you as you're running up. Fill the fruit meter now. I am. I'm doing it. Eat one more fruit so the Yoshis can grow happier. I will. What? <laughs> Hooray! That's the whole level. <laughs> what the fuck are those checkpoint gremlins? That's Miss Warp. Not a Yoshi gamer? What's your problem, dude? I bet this is probably a very easy game to speedrun. Skip everything. Aw, oh, Todd's here laying with me. That's so cute. Speedrun rank all Yoshi games? Oh, dude, how many games are there? What a fun game. I'm having a great time. There's Yoshi's Island, which is a 10. And this one, which is a... 6? <laughs> this sucks. Oh, my God. Where is your childlike wonder, huh? Where is your sense of creativity? Bone Dragon Pit Blarg's Boiler. We go Blarg's Boiler. Kony, I'm about to be a father. Tips. Uh, play Yoshi's story in front of your kid. It'll bond you for life. They'll love it. Watch how you pick up the kid. Uh, because there's something called Dad Back. Which is really bad. It's like in your lower back. Um, when they first poop. When they first come to the hospital and they poop, it's like black tar. It's gunk. Don't be alarmed. That's normal. But it's very weird. Um, what else? Uh, yeah, it's really gross. The speed run for this game is 11 minutes? Dude, I kind of want to do that. That sounds fun. Uh, let me see. Oh, don't shake the baby. That's very important. Don't shake the baby. They said it to me so much that I kind of wanted to shake the baby. 
I think I had gamer brain, you know? It's like a boss telling you, like, like, about its, uh, the big weak spot on its belly that has a big, you know, a band-aid on it. The boss is like, you'll never defeat me, especially now that I have this sewer grate over my tummy, and then you're like, okay, so I'm gonna knock the sewer grate off and get the tummy. Uh, but there's no bonus to shaking your baby. It doesn't, like, unlock anything. At least not yet, maybe later. <laughs> maybe, maybe if you do it now, you'll, like, scramble things up in there, and then they'll become, you know, like a star athlete or something. Have you tried? How, how do you know? Well, I haven't tried it, but again, you know, if you give him a little wiggle, maybe it'll set stuff right. Is this dude a dinosaur? It's a Yoshi, silly. Oh, do you mean Blarg? Tony, that's yep. literally the same reasoning as I wanna eat the Tide Pod because people keep eat. telling me not to eat it. <laughs> he said, eat? Tide Pods do smell good, though. So that one makes sense. Maybe if you just, like, shake the baby until it cries, and then you're like, oh, okay, I should stop, right? Be a good dad. Be a sensitive father. This game looks like a fever dream. It's Yoshi. I actually, I, I was doing laundry the other day, and I thought about ingesting a Tide Pod. I will not lie to you. I considered it. Now, I would never do it. But I was like, huh. I think it's more the... It's got to feel good when it pops in your mouth. Right? Puncturing it with your canine tooth has got to be an experience like no other. Would you do it for 2075? Like a fruit gusher, yeah. I'll puncture one with my tooth for 2075. I won't eat it, but I'll like... Right? I'm not gonna eat the damn thing. I'm gonna suck out the fluids. No. I don't know. They just, they're, they're so like, they're fun to hold, right? That's not what they're saying. They're saying be careful. Tony, that's literally self-harm. We maybe, I don't know. It's all I'm all about experimentation. They're saying be careful. What if I ate a Tide Pod and I just became a superhero? I turned I I, I grew three times my size. Instantly. And two colored. Just like in the middle, you know, blue and green, like a Tide Pod. Don't make these jokes. Don't, you guys are, just for that, just for that, I'm picking Pink Yoshi. Oh, I hate this level, bro. You set it up. You can't say I set up short jokes when you take any opportunity to make a short joke. You hear what I'm saying? Like, you can't... Not everything is a setup all the time at all moments. Wait, aren't you supposed to only eat your favorite fruit? I think that's a thing in this game. Like, you get, like... You get extra points if you do that. No? Who cares? Yeah, well, for 100%. Don't you want to get the real ending? Oh, melons? Oh, I see. Yoshi does love melons. I like how each Yoshi's voice is pitched slightly differently. You fucking liar. No way that's true. I definitely would have noticed. Is that true? Uh... Am I crazy? 
They are different? Are you sure? You have bad hearing. I, I actually do not have good uh, pitch. So yeah, that's true. That's the uh, that's accurate. Sing a song for us. What song? I'll do requests. The Yoshi song? Shake the baby. Is that a song? That's shock the monkey. The Yoshi say, be careful. Like that. Because they want their friends to be careful and get home safe. No, they don't. What do you think they're saying? Eat asshole. They're Yoshis. They don't have that. You guys are gross. You missed the watermelon. I don't care. Do you see how many fruits are available for me? I have a pick of the litter. All the fruits I could possibly ever want. What? I think I did something wrong. I should have listened to this guy. I should have listened to the people talk, man. Uh, leaves are flimsy. Watch your balance while you surf the breeze. What do you mean, surf the breeze? Oh, shit! It's like a Mario cape. All right. Got it. What if I don't find enough fruits? Do I starve? What do you think that long tongue is for, Tony? Eating? Hmm? Oh, we're playing a game. All right. What is this song? Oh, surf it. Wait. Ooh. Ooh. Look at the stance on this. I'm like that famous surfer. Uh, Brody. Uh, he had a game. Adrian Brody. Seven melons. The Silver Surfer. No. Tony Hawk. No. He had a Tony Hawk game. Though. Fuck. What was that guy's name? That's actually going to piss me off now that I can't think of it. Sean White. No. You guys. Sean White snowboards. Adrian Brody. That's... Okay, that's him then. You guys just hate this game because you will never be super happy. <laughs> You've never felt the joy these Yoshis feel at all times. Kelly Slater. That's the guy. I remember being really confused when I was a kid because they had Kelly Slater's Pro Surfing, but on the cover was a guy. Huh? Kelly, that's that's a girl's name. <laughs> I remember that. I was very confused. When are you playing Siphon Filter? Dude, Siphon Filter actually bangs. That's a good-ass game. I will never play it, especially not on stream. But I played it a long time ago, and it's actually very good. One sub to eat this pepper. Sub goal to eat a pepper. Could be a prime. How hot is it? It's so hot, dude. It's one of those phantom ghost pepper. Oh, thank you, Susie Hart. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Putting Yoshi through physical pain. Thanks, Gamer Gooch. Oh, no! A g g g g ghost A yokai. Inviso, peekaboo, who are you? Peekabee, can't find me. Right there. He has his mouth open. If he closed his mouth, I might actually not find him. I 
Okay, actually, I don't know where he is now. <laughs> Coney, one so time sneaky. to surrender the president. <laughs> one president. <laughs> All I need is one. I think that's pretty rational. The government does not negotiate with terrorists, but what if the terrorist was, like, really cool about it? Wait, did he die in one hit? Wait, did the boss die in one hit? <laughs> Wait, that was two hits? I don't think the first hit hit. I think he was too far away. This actually is a baby game. I was... I was... It's funny what you what games you think will be fun when you're a kid. Because I saw this game on the shelf when I was a kid. Yeah, when I was young. Definitely too old for it, but I was like, that looks really fun. I want to play Yoshi's Story. I was definitely too old for it. They're saying be careful. Not what they're saying. They're not saying any of what you're saying. There's literally a boss that heals you. No way. Are you serious? Honestly, as a dad though, this bangs. I would love to give this game to my little kid. Cause she's not gonna get mad and go, oh, this song go crazy. Jungle portal. This shit's, oh, I love that one. Uh, we go yellow Yoshi here. Yellow Yoshi is the best here. Wait for the fetus final boss. Yoshi story is an allegory for abortion. <laughs> this is, I'm getting real like Fall Guys vibes here, bro. You know what I mean? Like all the all the stuff and the the, uh, the 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 vinyl? Is that what it is? Low key Fall Guys core, hell yeah, dude. Fall Guys core makes me think of like you know fashion, like dressing like a Fall Guy. I guess that's not a bad idea. They have a lot of styles, bro. Who's hop hopping? Listen to the pause music. I got baby. I've, I thought there'd be something. I really did. No, there's music. I, I know there's music. I don't need help there. Thank you. This looks exactly like the Donkey Kong Country background. Doesn't it? That chest? Huh? I love that part. Does he say Nintendo? If you idle? I think I had to, uh, I think I needed to, uh, like, after you eat something, he says Nintendo. Bro, I'm out of, okay, I was gonna say I'm out of eggs, dude. If he's saying Nintendo, then the Yoshis are saying the asshole. Why do you, I'm not negotiating with you. <laughs> no. Why would the Yoshis even say that? Tony, we gotta leave this level now. I'm not even halfway done. There are so many more fruits, bro. I'm not even halfway done on this one. I don't know what to tell you. I'm trying to get out. How much to get you to play and beat Super Mario Sunshine? Oh, that already happened. You're late. That actually happened, like, whenever the collection came out. You missed it. Sorry, my friend. Mobile moment? Several years behind? 
When did I stream Mario Sunshine? I remember I had like a had like a three hour thing where I was playing Mario Sunshine and just talking while running on the rooftops. 2020? Damn, dude. Yeah, you're late. Sorry, friend. No sun shining here. The roof stream, yeah. On the Delfino rooftops. Coney, if I see the cheap cheap on this level, I'm gonna lose it. There are no cheap cheaps. Oh. Get out now. Get out now. Get out now. Leave now. I'm sorry. Get out now. You can leave. I thought I would have seen him by now. To be fair, when I started that sentence, I didn't I did not see him. He showed up just I don't know where he came from. Just get the fuck out of here quick. Why for Yoshi? Bring! Oh, pot champ! Hit the music. Is this the worst song you could hear while making love? Might be. It's up there. It does have a beat. That's true. <laughs> it does have a beat. Among the worst, let's say. Okay, among the worst. It's in contention. It's up for discussion. That's an idea for Wheelchamp. What's the worst song to make love to? Wrong channel. Why doesn't Cody play games anymore? <laughs> yeah, you're getting a you're getting a glimpse of the old Cody, bro. Hit the music. Hit my theme song. The jungle lake was brimming with hungry fish called blurps. Oh, that wasn't a. There were blurps. They weren't cheap cheeps. You're fine, dude. Blurps aren't gonna hurt you. Why would they? We love blurps, bro. The Yoshis grew happier. No. Why are Yoshis telling me to eat ass? They're not. They're saying be careful, and you should. Lots of fish, Shy Guy. Shy Guy Limbo? I want to do that. Is that the pirate level? I'm Green Yoshi. Maybe it's both. Be careful while you're performing that act. I've heard you can't get parasites. So... Oh, it's so cool! What are they doing? It's like a ritualistic ceremony. This is a worse lovemaking song. No way. This one's fine. I could get down on this one. Yay! You gotta get super happy, you know what I'm saying? <gasps> Randall! Go, 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 go! Wait, why am I skipping the level? <laughs> this isn't that kind of game. <laughs> I tried to get to the exit. Never mind. I was like, oh, I can I can get to the ending fast. Cool. I can speed run, but that's not how this game operates. I dare you to ask Mallory if she would make love to the Yoshi song. She would be mad at me for suggesting such a thing. Hey, but maybe, you know, 
You spend a lot of time with somebody, you, you are open to new things, new experiences. What color Yoshi would you be? Uh, well, I don't know, because my favorite color is red, but I don't necessarily think I'm a red Yoshi, you know what I mean? I think it's a mistake to say that you are the thing that you would like to be. Because there's a lot of things I would like to be that I might not be. You know what I mean? You tell me. What Yoshi do you think I would be? Pink? Red? Yellow? The short one. They're all the same size. Yoshis are a uniform height. And even if they weren't, I would be a normal Yoshi, just average. Are there- how many bosses are in this game, by the way? I'm about to beat the game. I'm actually close to beating the game, and I've fought one boss. And he took two hits. Ow, stop! Why is he- he's just peeing. Clear blue water. Tony, this is you. If you choose Black Yoshi, is that considered that racist? I could be Black Yoshi. I have the pass. There's a White Yoshi, too. There's a White Yoshi somewhere in here. Damn! I hit the max points! Bro! And I'm not even done with the game. I got one more level. Hit it. Play my music, bro. That's how we get through. By being careful. Always watching our step. It's important to be careful. And not do anything else the chat is suggesting. Part of being careful means not doing that stuff. Coney will never beat Bowser. Yes, I will. Unless I had to get stuff in the earlier parts of the game. <laughs> like items and shit. That happened to me during Mega Man X. That's why I hate that game. I got all the way to Vile, or Sigma? What's his name? I don't remember that guy's name. Sigma? I hate that guy. He killed me in one hit. If you visit Poop's home, don't be surprised if you run into Poop. Who's Poop? Is that a character in this game? Dude, this sucks. Go! 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 This is where this song is from? You know this song? How do people know this song? A whoop? A whoop? Eat the pepper, Coney. <laughs> Sub goal. Sub goal to eat this pepper. Oh, I smell it. I'll smell it. Hold on. Sub goal to eat this pepper. I'm getting mad, Louis. 2055. Vibes from this music slash sound font. It actually does kind of sound like Luigi's Mansion. Two primes. 2055. Yeah, 2055 to eat the pepper, guys. Red Yoshi loves the pepper? Wait, is that true? He actually might. The stakes have never been lower. Come on, everybody. You got it. I know you got a prime. I know you do. Come on, everybody. Ask Ben. He doesn't even like the pepper, you guys. Oh, it gave me a melon, though. Thanks. Oh, thanks, Bugsy Kong. Thanks for the gift. He didn't like the pepper, by the way. I'll ask Ben later. You guys better not be holding primes for Ben. That would actually piss me off if I introduced a bit that makes people not sub to me. That would make me so mad. Too smart for my own good. 
I was holding mine for the pepper. Okay, good. I'll have to find another one. Who's Ben? You'll see. I don't have a prime? Oh, well, gifts work too. I'm holding thousands of primes. Oh, wait, my headset. Huh? Whoops. I gotta hear the music. Okay. It's okay. I can't hear you guys right now, but yeah, it is okay. It is okay. Engage. Oh, he says Yushi. Am I dead? Are you fucking kidding me? Why is that there? Where's Red Yoshi going? Where are they taking him? Huh? Where's Red Yoshi? <laughs> Wait, did Red Yoshi get abducted? Uh... Oh, Blue Yoshi does sound different. Oh my god. He's pitched down. Red Yoshi sent to the gulag. Wait, what happens if they all die? They're not gonna make me restart the whole fucking game. They don't- no, they don't game over you. Actually, they might. It is a pretty easy game. Do I really have to do this again? Ads? Thank God I'm doing ads here <laughs> for this part. Huh? Does Coney die in this level? No! I'm not gonna die. Pot friends, help them out with the ads. Let them know what they should do. Where are my pot friends in chat? I don't have rewind. N64 doesn't have rewind. <laughs> the peepo stare. If you lose all the Yoshis, it shows a Yoshi head with realistic blood coming out of its eyes. Oh, wow. That's kind of scary for kids. Nintendo was trying different stuff, though, so I get it. Kind of an experimental game. I hear it. Where's the super happy heart? Oh, you could use the C-stick? Oh, neat. Get the heart. I can't! How do I get it? I can't. It's gone. The heart's gone. They actually forgot to program a way to get there. This was a rushed game. Sorry, everybody. Hello, I'm back from five at- No! Blue Yoshi! No way I died. No. Oh my god, dude. Are you kidding me? Guys, my bad. My bad. Alright, two Yoshis have now been abducted. We go yellow here. Yellow goes higher. Yo yellow jumps higher. I should have been yellow the whole- t Oh my god, I forgot. You don't go right. You don't go right. Okay. All right. Hold on. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. My bad. I forgot that you can't go right there. You don't go right. You go left. Okay. Green Yoshi will save the day. Do not worry, everyone. Mr. Beats Games is on the case. No more Yoshis will befall the terrible fate. I will save all Yoshis henceforth. Uh, where's the... What? What's that noise? <gasps> coins, coins, coins. Do I need to get these coins? Okay, I have to know. Will eating this chili pepper kill me? Okay, no. 
<laughs> I thought it lowered your health. I was actually super curious. What? From what? How did I die? Was it the chili pepper? Did the chili pepper kill me? I had reflux. What happened? What actually happened there? I got squished by what? What squished me? Oh, the gears? Are you sick? Oh, dude, that's gruesome. That's fucked up. That's fucked up, dude. Coney, I accidentally gifted a sub. Hey, well, uh, accidental thank you for that one. You could, you could take it up with Twitch. Take it up with Twitch. Uh, but listen. If you want to, you know, mistakes are the best way to learn. So if you've got anything else you want to, you know, if you want to make sure you don't mess that up in the future, maybe take it for another spin just to sort of get your bearings around the gifted option. Just go ahead and take a look. Thank you, Big Glue. Happy little accident. See ya. Fuck! No fucking way. Are you serious? Dude, I'm gonna get a game over. I'm gonna get a fucking game over. This is insane. What happened? What happened to all my Yoshis? Oh my god. Dude, I don't know what to say. Why did this game get so hard? Dude, I'm so Dude, I don't know! I only need four more fruits. If I can find four fruits, I'm good. Guys, it's fine. I'll find four fruits. This is so scary. <laughs> okay, here we go. Right. Left. Right. Left. This UI is whack. What do you mean? Don't you like being reminded of all the fruits that you ate today? All 26 of them. First, I ate an apple, then a watermelon, then a regular melon, then a banana, then a melon, then a watermelon, then a melon, then an apple, then a grape. I'm like the very hungry caterpillar. Let me regale you of my meals for the day. Okay, is there something down there? Oh god, I've been here. I forgot. Oh, I'm so... Oh, man. Okay, I need three more, and if I die, I get game over. Oh, God. Oh, God. No. No, no, no. Do I... Okay. Can I... Can I take a second, guys? This control is very bad. You're not gonna believe me, but the controls in this game are not good. Please believe me, okay? I mean it. The controls are not good. Please believe me when I tell you. I should have waited. I'm good. <laughs> I'm so scared. Okay. Two more. Two more fruits. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. I shouldn't have waited. No, what? Why did all three of them go? This is a game for babies. This is a baby game. Why would you send all three? It's basic pattern recognition. What? No way. No way. No. What do you mean game over? There's no way you send me back to the big. That I can't fucking believe it. Dude. Why didn't you save state? It's Yoshi's story! That's why I didn't save state! What are you talking about? You can't rewind. F-Zero looking pretty good now, her champ. Dude, I'm actually in disbelief. I'm actually in disbelief. I I can't beat Yoshi's story. Yeah. <laughs> 
Hold triggers. It doesn't work on this game. It doesn't work on 64. Dude, I Coney, I hope you know my eight-year-old nephew beat this game without dying, and he calls the pink Yoshi purple nurple. <laughs> Your nephew's stupid. Doesn't even know the color. Dude, what do I do? I don't want to. I don't want to play the game again. I, I, I'm actually in disbelief. I can't believe they did that. Watch the ending on YouTube. The ending to Yoshi's story. Practice. I should have practiced. I should have practiced. Oh my god, this is insane. I was on the last level. That's actually unbelievable. What the yeah. I could do it again. And you said your child wouldn't rage at this game. No, Meanwhile, oh, get the okay. game over. This could be your lowest gamer moment. A different path is a different game. That's true. If we go down a different path... It just means we get to experience more of Yoshi's story. I don't want to play more Yoshi's story. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I can't believe that shit, dude. That's actually unbelievable that they did that. They had the fucking... It was, it was one and then the other and then it was all three. How was I supposed to know that? Oh my god! Ooh, hold on. Standard. I didn't rage quit. Jack Queen, can we go king on this? That's so many racers. What? Uh, Falcon is BCB. D. Dad? <laughs> Wild Goose BBC. <laughs> ADB. <laughs> CCA. Stream a game over EAC. some rage quits in Yoshi's story. I didn't rage he quit. He be no. Chat, is this claim fact? No. Or fiction? It was a dumb game, and I can't believe they did that to me. I think I go BBC on this. I go Falcon, right? Dude, there's so many different racers. Do you unlock them? Uh, we go... What? What is this? Do I get to pick this? I've never done this. You unlock them. Okay. Uh, we go more max speed. Send it. I've never played this. Oh, shit! What's the boost? How do I boost? How do I boost? How do I boost? How do I boost? Stream, how do I boost? Not until lap two? Oh, okay. All right. Why are there so many racers? And why are they all in the middle track? That makes you slower. Jesus Christ. Thanks. Okay, there. Found the boost button. Oh, God. Oh, God. Sorry. 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 Everybody's sorry. If you want to pull over, we can exchange information. Boost, boost, boost. What's check? What is, what is the check? Who's checking me? Oh, my health is low. I'm going to die. Wait, no. Not if I boost. I see you see you use ship uh, energy to boost. 
right? Health is boost, yeah. Dude, this game's hard. How many laps are there? Three? I actually might make it. I might get on podium. Who's that lizard guy? All right, I'll take a fit. I'll take a, a fit, a six. Oh shit, they played this song. I know that song. Six is good. It's six out of 28, dude. That's not a bad run. Pretty good. All right, I need more. I think I need more acceleration. I'm not so good at the, uh, at not hitting the wall. That's the song from Smash. Yeah, excellent reference. I want to play Smash 64. I can't believe that's not on here. Is that Fox? Who's the third guy? It looks like Fox. There are so many characters in this game, dude. F-Zero is such a cool, like, world. It just... The games are so uninviting. I don't know how to put it. I've always thought it was really neat, the idea that this is, like, the Earth. But it's uninhabitable. Because of... I don't know. It feels kind of cyberpunk -y, you know? Oh, my rival? Who's my rival? Do I want to kill him? Stop bumping me, please! No bumping! No bumpies, everyone! Dude, if I was Captain Falcon, there would be so much vomit. They would have to clean out my car with a fire hose after every race. It would be disgusting. I don't like F-Zero. <laughs> this is too hard. How does anyone put- Jesus! Hell! Some- Ow! <laughs> I'm fucking dead. Captive- Retired. That's one word for- Okay, I don't like F-Zero. This game's hard. You gotta use the side attack turn- Oh, I get to play again. What's the side attack turns? How do you play? Go back to Yoshi's story. R and L? For what? What does that do to help? Oh shit! Why sometimes do I careen out of control though? Why am I pink now? Who made me pink? I was blue before, right? Kill other racers. How do I do that? Drifting is a noob trap. Well, right now I'm doing pretty good. I'm in sixth. Hitting the drift? Ooh, I don't believe you, dude. That drifting was kind of nice. Actually, I, I'm pretty sure I'm losing speed. <laughs> I think that person was correct. Bro, I took that turn expertly. And I'm hitting the boost. I can do this. Dude, I'm actually dialed in. Oh, I'm at my max speed now. Nah, I'm not anymore, though. No, god damn it, I thought the brake button was B. It's actually boost. Come on. Fuck this octopus looking dude. He's like a gargoyle. Come on. Fuck you. <sighs> Figured it out, dude. Figured it out. No game is a match for me. I'm Mr. Beats Games. Send it. 100 points. I've got to be in first, right? I hate track, bro. This game's still bad now? No, this game is based, actually. I just had to learn it. Now I love it. This game rules. 
Who are the who's in third? There's two ET looking dudes. You know, I make fun of Star Wars a lot. Cause I'm like, who could like this? But the world of F Zero is really cool to me. So I guess that's why if they just didn't talk or have politics or trade or exports or anything, I might like it. If they just raced cars. Do you know what I'm saying? Literally just pod racing. Oh yeah. <laughs> they have that. <laughs> oh, big boost. I did. Thanks for letting me know. You hit the boost on the loop. Yup, yup, because nobody else is going to do it, but I'll do it. I'll do it. I'm not scared. I thought this game was hard. And I'm not even, like, memeing or, like... But if I can go into the hard cup on standard and win a race ever, I feel like that's, like, not good, right? Like, I'm not even trying to do a bit here where it's like, oh, it's so easy. No, I'm serious. Like, if it's hard, how did I win a race? You're just talented. Thank you. That's what I was fishing for. Thank you very much. I know you hate anime, but unironically, you'd love Redline. It's basically a Neft Zero movie and so dope. Oh, that does sound cool. Except for the anime part. I'm not going to do that. Alright, I, I think I'm getting 10th here. Well, hold on. Hit the boost. Wait. Nice. I'll take a knife. Plus, that was my rival. Get fucked. Is this like... Is Captain Falcon a human? Well, I know he's a human, but is he, like, from Earth? You know what I mean? Or is he an alien? What kind of question is that? Is he- is Captain Falcon an alien? Like, is he a humanoid? He's from America. Really? America still exists here? I don't know. Where- what's Earth? Is Big Blue Earth? I always assumed that Big Blue was Earth, but it's underwater. Is that true? Oh god. This is so... This is such tight quarters. What am I supposed to do? I'm gonna bump into people. Oh, never mind. I got energy now. Send it. How do I kill people? Do I just ran, run into them a lot? Like... I feel like that would hurt me more. Get out of my way, rival. Come on. Get the boost. God, I lost my drift. Why is my rival so good? No! Okay, thank God that was there. Yeah! My health is low, but I can do this. As long as I don't crash, I'm good. No, no, no. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Where's the health? Where's the health? Health is coming. Health is on the way. Where is it? It's on the sides. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Yes! No! I'm good. I'm set. I'm winning this whole fucking circuit. Fuck you! Not my rival. I win. I win. Oh, baby! That's it! I won! I won the whole thing! First try! I won the, the King Cup first try. That's crazy, right? No way. Okay, there's another one. White Land 2. I'll be right at home. How many races are there? Three, two, one. 
Six tracks per cup. Which one's this? Five? Uh. White Land 2. Everybody drives a Jeep. This is the John Mayer. Dave Matthews Band. Were you guys around for Dave Matthews Band? <laughs> My dad loves Dave Matthews Band and drives a Jeep. Probably likes John Mayer. Maybe a little bit of Jack Johnson. Upside down, you know. Way to dox your dad. My dad was in the army, bro. Try to find him. My dad also collects guns. He's one of those guys. Try to find him. See what happens. Come on. Go, go, go. How am I in fourth? Dude, why is Drax so good? He's in first? Unbelievable. Wait. Oh, oh! I'm in first! Ah! Fuck Drax! Bro, that boost is powerful. That boost goes crazy. I'm first. Dude! Why can't... What am I supposed to do? I need him to... I have to kill him. Can I kill him? Kill Drac with side attack. Okay. I have to kill him. I have to kill Drac. I don't even know who he is. Who's Drac? Oh, hit my music. What? <laughs> There's a boost? Hit my theme song. Oh my god. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, dude. Come on. Where am I going? Where's Drac? I don't know what Drac's car looks like. Boost? Do I want to jump? I don't even know if jumping is a good idea. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Which one's Drac? He's not even in the top six. I did. Oop, I shouldn't jump. Jumping is probably always bad. As long as I get first and Drax is not like in the top 10, I think I'm good. Whoa, stop hit. No, 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 don't use it all. No! Do I come back? I'm dead. I have two more cars. I have two more cars. It's fine. I have two more cars. I can do it. It's fine. Is there like a boost like in Mario Kart? If you hit the button on the right time. Hit the boost. I can't. Drax's rival? Okay. Okay, do not none of the AI is taking the uh, is taking the jump, so I should not take the jump. No drifts, no driftsies. Chat told me it was a noob trap. I'm not a noob. I'm a good player. That's side attack. Got it. Alright, I got boost power. Come here, Drax. I have to kill him. Otherwise, my first place is in jeopardy. Fuck! He's so far ahead. No, no. I shouldn't have done that. Okay, it's fine. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. This is so bad. How am I gonna catch him? I have to super boost. I need rubber band. Oh my god, he's in second? Iwata, rubber band me. 
Give me the boost to the water. Oh my god, this is it. No! Too fast! I have to kill him. He's gonna live and he's gonna win. I can't kill him. He's too far ahead. Oh, fuck! I... Damn it. He's too good. He's too good. He is a great racer. It's fine. He's an amazing racer and a great competitor. Surely I got second, though. No shame. No shame in getting second to Drax. Drax, he's a great racer. One of the best of our generation. Second place, no shame at all. Guys, what? come on. Be a good sportsman. If I didn't get 10th, I won the whole thing. I went at 999 kilometers. Oh, it's kilometers. Never mind. That's like 100 miles an hour. It's not that impressive. For your first cup, that's probably good as hell. Yeah, I agree. That's not bad at all. A normal on the hardest cup. Kind of killed it on that one. Who did I unlock? <laughs> what? That's amazing. That's so cool. Nintendo, that is so cool. Is that it? <laughs> in fireworks? There are going to be people in the stands wondering who that was for. Why did they set off fireworks that say try again? The whole crowd is like, is that who? I'm pretty sure Falcon got third or second place there. I don't think he, I think he did a great job. Are you fucking tennis? All right, dude. Let's make this quick. Let's make it quick. Let's make it quick. Oh, she's so cute. All right. Quick tournament. Quick tournament. Quick tournament. All right, just a fast one. The thunder? Boom. I used to be sick at this. I used to be. Yeah, there we go. Yup, every time. Mamma mia. That's right. Maybe you should hold center, Luigi. Why are you playing up on the net? <laughs> I forgot Luigi used to sound like this. I also forgot how easy this game is. Okay, maybe this game kind of sucks. This game is great. It seems kind of easy to me. I don't know. Luigi cut. Maybe Luigi is just terrible. Mario All right. Mario Grand Prix. It honestly gets hard as fuck, Copium. Yahoo! You were just a baby. Okay, does anyone know the path in Yoshi Valley? Does anyone know? Okay. <laughs> I forgot. Okay, some sound effects get uh, lodged into your brain your entire life, okay? And now that this is on the Switch, I can tell you one of mine. Listen to the way Mario says verses here. Verses? Never will forget it. Verses? He can't believe you're fighting. He cannot believe you're actually gonna fight. You guys are supposed to be friends. Verses? It's very good. Also, he's really pushy here. He's sounding pretty impatient, yeah. There's something on that Mario Tennis, too. My friend Vin, uh, we were playing this for some reason on an emulator. 
And at the championship point, it goes, championship point. <laughs> he says it so fast, and the music comes in so hard. Very fun. Can you select verses again? I'd be happy to. With pleasure. Hold on. Verses? I love that. He loves everything else, but he hates verses. Versus? Why would you fight? Okay. Guys, I, I don't know the re the path in Yoshi Valley. I hope someone in this chat can backseat me. Please. I didn't get the boost. Only person on Twitch that didn't get a boost in Mario Kart. Oh, God. Oh, wait, that's this. Wait, what's the button? Okay. I forgot how to play Mario Kart. All right, hold on. Bro, is this a Switch emulation thing? Why am I so easy to spin out? Oh, no, I shouldn't have hit that. This game wasn't meant to run at 60. Why did I put 10k on Coney winning? Just wait. Lap 1 doesn't matter. Lap 1 is data. See? Watch this. We call this the Coney skip. I did this to all my friends. Mmm. Well, well, well. Well, well, well. DK? This is his level! What the fuck? Bro, DK is so far ahead! Dude, what?! Can I get some rubber banding? Tony, you shouldn't play as Toad or else you'll keep hearing his sounds and think you're filthy rich. Wait. Oh, he's dead. No, 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 no. Toad, 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 use it. Please let me up. First place, by the way. At 150 CC. Mario boat? Just let it hang there. Yup, yup. Just let it hang there. Like a little dangler. You're trying to pinch off. Not this asshole. That was my box! Eat shit! You probably placed that. Oh, hungry ass. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? Watch this, watch this, drift right in, drift right in. Yes! Huh! No! Bowser, no! Dude, no way, I got a golden mushroom on the left. I'm the best! I'm the best! Oh. I got a golden mushroom at second on the last drift. I am the best. I am the best. <laughs> Cheating? Shut up. Bowser fan. Gold mushroom in second is actually insane. This game loves good players. Honestly, this game more than any other reward skill, I think. Because I think it's random what item you get. Other than last place. Oh, I got the boot. I hate this level, dude. I hate this so much. Where do I go? Where do I- I'm gonna go this way? The game doesn't know who's winning. Uh, it- What? Uh, okay. This way. I hate this map so much. Oh, there's Pe are, Peach. Are you okay? Are you as lost as I am? I'm so far behind, but not really. I'm in third. That's not so bad. Bro, we got a lot of gold mushrooms. That's not bad. All right, we go left this time. <laughs> Why are there gates everywhere except that one spot? 
Who half-assed it? I forgot you. Please stop bumping into me. Oh my god. Okay, that's that's the fast path. I found it. I found the fast path. I forgot. <laughs> I have not played Mario Kart in quite a bit. That's alright, I got thunder. I got thunder and uh and and there's rubber banding. I could still win. Just Oh my god. Yoshi. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh yeah, I don't know what place I'm in actually. I don't know what place I'm in honestly. It's a mystery to everyone on the right on the left. It, who knows? Not me. I could be winning. I, d I actually don't know if that's... I actually don't know now if that's Dono's or... Because <laughs> he keeps saying it. I was I was kidding at first, and I thought it'd be easy to tell, but now he just keeps saying it. What? Well, hold on! Wait! From last to fourth. Wait. To third? Wah! Fuck that egg. Uh, 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 Okay! Oh, no. I'm good. Yahoo! Not bad. Honestly, bro, not bad. Could have been much worse. Just kidding, that, it's a dono, you goober. You threw me. I was like, why can I still hear Toad? What happened? And I'm still in first place. Dude, not Banshee Boardwalk. At least it's not Yoshi, Yoshi Valley. At least I know who's winning here. Why does Nintendo love these, like, the ghost boardwalk motif so much? It's so weird. I guess this was only the second game. That's weird. This was only the second game in Mario Kart when it came out, and now they have eight. Huh? Okay! Oh, no. I know there's a shortcut here, but I don't know where it is. Ow, stop, stop. Who's releasing all these bats? God damn it. It's supposed to be a homing shell. <laughs> Good banana. <laughs> no! Die! God! <laughs> Wario? Die. Yoshi's out. Yoshi's out of the race, and I am thriving. Fuck you! Goodbye. Yup, golden mushroom in second. Ah! Ah! <laughs> what the fuck? No. Dude, I hate Banshee Boardwalk so much. I'm almost done, though. I'm almost done, and I never had to play this again. I should have held that. I definitely should have held that. Okay, we're gonna go very delicately around the boardwalk. Excellent. We're gonna hold on to this one. Welcome to a Mario Kart 64 Let's Play. Gonna hold on to this one all the way around. Watch out for that sneaky Bowser. Thro what? What a fucking idiot. That seems like something that's gonna happen in the Mario movie. <laughs> Bowser throws a banana forward and then drives into it. What a schmuck. I win. Rick Bozo smoking on that Bowser pack. Ha ha ha. All right, we made it. Well done, everybody. That's a dub. It's a fat dub. All right, now Rainbow Road is like 30 minutes long. <laughs> it's a long one. But, but we get to hit the music. Hit the best track in the game. Do I jump? 
Wait, where's my music? Where's my music? Oh, it's L. L turns off music. I didn't know that. Oh, God. I drift past those! Why does Toad say, here we go? Why does everybody say, here we go? A character should say, here I go. Because only they're going and winning. I love N64 Rainbow Road, bro. It's magical. <laughs> I love- Dude, I don't know what it is. Something about the constellations in the sky. Here I go, Gigadar. I'll go by DK. This is my favorite thing to do. Use every banana. Send the bunch. The entire bunch. I love that. That's my favorite thing to do. Just run into somebody with a tail. Oh, hit the fat drift on him, Toad. We're going to heaven, Toad. You and me. We were very good. What if the road to heaven... I got a lightning bolt in second? <laughs> God's favorite Carter. <laughs> God's favorite driver. And now I got it. Guys, it's fair. I got a banana peel. It's fine. Coney skip. Coney skip is where you jump there. It makes you go faster. That was one lap. Yep. Strap in. Oh. Bro, I hit those drifts! You would not believe how much Mario Kart 64 I played. Because I'm so old. I'm so old, I was too old for Double Dash. <laughs> I was like, this isn't fun. <laughs> but this game, bro? I was at the party fucking people up in this. Probably because I don't drink, so everybody else is drunk and having a good time and doesn't care about the results of the race. But I did, and I always won. I would win at this game to try to impress the girls at the party. Isn't that weird? I don't know why I did that. I think that's a common thing, though. It didn't work. No, it didn't. But I feel like that's a common thing. You know? Like you're at the high school party and it's a bunch of people playing Smash or something you're, and you're beating everybody and you're like, <laughs> check me out. I think it's pretty common. I really do. Guitar Hero? Yup. Guitar Hero too. The ladies love Guitar Hero. More. Oh god. I used to try to show off to Mal playing Guitar Hero. I was pretty good, bro. Expert and everything. <laughs> it's not weird. You Thank need you. to win Block Fort to assert dominance. I forgot about Block Fort. I kind of want to play Block Fort now. Hey, can't you play this online? I forgot. It's probably awful. <laughs> I would play actual guitar at parties. That's worse. I feel like playing a real guitar at parties is worse than playing Guitar Hero at parties. Because as soon as you bust out the guitar, everybody hates you. You know what's the worst? So I used to do theater, right? There's always a guy that brings an acoustic guitar to theater parties, like cast parties. And he just busts it out apropos of nothing and starts singing and everybody... It's not even like a... How do I put this? Cast parties aren't like high school parties where there's just shit going on all over the house. Cast parties are like in one room. So everybody has to sit around while this guy sings over you or you just wait to hear it. Like you can't ignore him. Does that make sense? Like you can't just ignore this guy. He's singing loudly and everybody else is trying to talk. It's bad. Oh no. Is he good? No. He's not good. They're never good. Is Bowser right behind me? I think he is. Never mind, I think he hit the chomp. This part of the song. 
It's like happy hardcore. Oh, goodbye, Bowser. Don't come close. Don't come close. Don't. You can have second. I will permit you to get second place. I will it. No. 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 Oh. What was that? He let you win. No, he didn't. Why was that that close? The hell is his problem, dude? That took five and a half minutes. <laughs> hey, but it was worth it, right? We had fun. Hit my theme song. It was a hundredth of a second? Yeah, and I won. Toad's the best. Bowser was trying to impress Peach. Dim work. Peach got third. Damn, good for her. Damn, this is Toad's castle now. He's gonna say it. Believers win? Yeah. Come on, it's Mario Kart, bro. I go crazy in Mario Kart 64. This is my game. He's gonna say it. Why is Bowser allowed to be at the castle? He is under strict supervision. Six snipers on his location at all times. She's got hitters up in every tower. Just... Play nice, Bowser. Not trying to start an international incident. Congratulations. I'm the best. And he's right. And he was. To Mario Dude, God. this song goes crazy. But I'm not going to listen to it. Oh, I can't skip it. Come on. I'm not sitting through this. Okay. Was I playing on easy difficulty? Mario Is there like a hard mode? Normal? <laughs> look at that toad. Why he look like that? <laughs> it's a goofy looking toad. There's something about Waluigi's voice in this game that kills me. Thank you, Itchy Thunder. Waluigi! I don't know what it is. Waluigi! It's something about... It's so throaty, you know? Why? Here we go. Luigi was so serious. Here we go. This was his first appearance. Yeah, Waluigi apparently is not related to Wario. He just showed up. Wario needed a doubles partner. Daisy looks so busted. She's so ratchet. Where's your bow or your tiara? DK looks pretty good, though. Who are the two characters? It's Donkey Kong Jr. and... Who? Fly guy. Shy guy. Shy guy. So the first cup is always easy? It's gonna be so boring. Just have to farm these guys. They don't even move. What's the speed run for this game? It gets harder, Copium. What if it's always like this? How does someone speedrun tennis? I mean, you gotta hit the ball in the right spot. You can probably, like, really fuck up the AI, actually. I bet the AI gets mad confused when you do certain stuff. I'm just trying to get to the championship point. Da -da -da -da. That's all I want. You know what game I wanted to play, too? I want to do a uh, playthrough of uh, Star Fox 64, but I don't know why. I feel like it's not fun. 
Isn't the blue Mario in this game? Oh, is he? Is he there when Mario can't be a judge? Oh, there he is. Well, he's just wearing a tennis thing. Like he's the commissioner. Thanks, Sean, y'all. Sorry, one sec. Uh, forgot I check out. Uh, I gotta see if I got an email today. I've been waiting all day for it. Pause champ a little bit. Just a tad. Icing Yoshi? <laughs> yeah, poor guy. He just got a little limber, but... Alright, go. Championship a point. Da -na 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 -na. Bro, hit the ball, Yoshi, you schmuck. So, are Birdo and Yoshi, like, romantically linked? Or is that tabloid gossip? No? Okay. I don't know why that entered my brain. I just feel like that's been, like, hinted at? Maybe they've been, like, doubles teams in Mario Party or something? They are best friends. Oh! Good for them. Oh, wait, I forgot. You can hit both at once. You hit both buttons. Oh, wait. It's not those buttons. They have some tension. Okay, I get that. Don't let me lose a game to Yoshi. Not this asshole. What do you mean? Who keeps putting it out? It wasn't out! It got hard. Thanks, Meatloaf King. If you hit the ball into Birdo's mouth, you win instantly. <laughs> I'm not gonna lose. I'm not gonna lose. I'm gonna get the cup. Championship point! Da -da -da. Fucking ref is killing me. Nope. What do you talk? How do I not make it go out? I can't control that. I can't control how hard the ball goes. It's a fucking Nintendo 64 game. It's not like I have motion controls. Why are you out Drake? Why are you applauding the ref on that? Mario needs glasses. All right, here we go. Match point, and the next game is championship point. Da -da -da -da. Like that. All right, we got it. Done. Continue the tournament. Not my, don't make me fight Boo. Thank God. Boo has that dumb curve shot. I hate that, dude. My friend always played as Boo. Boo was banned in our basement. Couldn't play as Boo. Two Marios? Wait a minute. Who's that? Blario. <laughs> He's an electrician. Oh, hit the theme. Oh, it's game point. Has Blario been acknowledged in any official Nintendo medium? I must know. He 
he's still out there plotting his revenge. Miyamoto said he was a ghost. Mario Tennis is haunted. Here it comes, here it comes. Oh no, he's a sick! I forgot, I have to win several times. Why is it out? According to who? It's not sex point. Guys, what are you doing? You don't get points in that. At least I've never gotten any points. Maybe I'm doing it wrong. Dude, why are they going out? Bro, this is great music. Keem, what are you talking about? This is like motivating. Unironically. This is like endurance mode. Here it comes. Oh, it's game point. I have to win two sets. Mario sucks at tennis, bro. Only the championship point version? That's for Valentine's Day and anniversaries. Maybe your birthday. <laughs> Alright, hit it. Hit the song. Championship point. <laughs> championship point. It's so easy. It is so easy. That one is like high quality. Championship point. Ew. Everyone, Birdo? Kissing everyone? Championship point. Good job, Birdo. You're the tennis master. She's so cute, bro. Oh, where are those going? <laughs> what a cool character. I love Birdo, man. I do. Unironically. Flower cup. No, that's it. Thank you, Kiki. Thank you for the prime. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Coney, you shouldn't play as. Hold on, I gotta. I'm gonna yeah! have to skip all of these. I don't know Just why they. Just kidding. Have to it's update. a dono. You gooba omega lol. I, I have to keep. It's so stupid. All right, I'm seeing some people in chat with some primes that haven't been used. Uh, hold on. Let me. Let me go ahead and see. So I, I actually have a limit of primes that I can accept, but I think that I can get more tonight. Uh, if you guys, you know, just give me um, give me a second. Let me just let me call my authority. One second. One second. This is my guy. Hold on. Ben. Ben, what's good? How you doing? You doing good? Yeah. That's good to hear. I'm very happy to hear it. Hey, uh, listen, I've got a lot of people with Primes in the chat right now. Do you think they should use Amazon Prime to sub for free right now? Yes. I agree. Thanks so much, buddy. I appreciate it. That's my guy, see? He always knows what's best. Go ahead and drop the Prime right now. There's no better time. According to Talking Ben himself, he says now is the best time. You see that? That's our guy. And, and ask him his thoughts on Wario. He only says yes or no. <laughs> that won't work. It's a, it pre-recorded Ben. I actually thought of that. I was like, I should just put up a YouTube video of Ben saying yes uh, 50 times. <laughs> over and over, and that's all I use. Thank you, Mr. Wangers. Thank you, Stubbs. See, these guys know too. Talking Ben is the foremost authority on Amazon Primes. It's great to see. He knows when to pop it. All right, I'm going to bed. Thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, stream tomorrow. I don't know what we're doing. Might watch a bit of movies. Tomorrow might be movie night. Thank you, Meg Katsu. I shouldn't because of your Yoshi ineptitude. Dude, can you at least... Thank you, Kilowatt. Can you at least admit that they set up that level for you to fail? Like, can we... Can we... Can we... You know? No? What do you mean, no? The last level was nonsense. 
Babies beat it. What sort of babies? We got to be talking like prime babies, gifted babies, Mensa babies, perhaps. You literally jumped into the same pit three times. You're supposed to go right in games. Huh? <laughs> You're usually supposed to go right. I don't know what to tell you. All right. We're going to raid all tribe. Because I want to play Mario Kart with all tribe sometime, but I also feel like I shouldn't play Mario Kart 9 because I don't know what I'm doing. So, uh, see you tomorrow for stream. Goodbye. How I love this pretty bed. Now I'll rest my weary head. Good night. Wait. That's what we have. Wheel champ tomorrow. Wheel champ. Wheel champ. Wheel champ. There. Forgot. Wheel champ tomorrow. So there you go. Submit now and you may win $50. Good night. How I love this pretty bed. Now I'll rest my weary head. Good night.